Extraterrestrial extra cuties. How are you guys today? Hi. Let's say hi to some folks. I see J Rock. Hey, I see Cap. I see yeah. I see Cap Andy. Hi. Oh yeah, <laughs> Cap and, and Captain Rob, who is actually going to be playing with us today. I see uh, Branded Nerd. Hello. Uh, the Dungeon Run. Yay! There's a Dungeon Run fan. Twins. Twins. Gary McHenry. Uh, the One Dime. Borkware Mark D. Love that name. A concerned citizen Star of Aim. <laughs> Gary McHenry, Angel Devilson, hi! Hi, everybody! Hi, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, it's a very, very exciting stream. We are playing Fiasco! Uh, 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 yet again! Oh, yes. thanks for subscribing, BKE Figgins! Hello, hello! Awesome. Thank you for that! So, we're playing Fiasco, we're playing a playset called A Home Invasion today. And uh, we can explain it in a bit. Maybe we should bring everybody in first before we explain everything. Well, I did want to, uh, did you want to tell them once we show everybody the cast about the, the new fun sound alerts? Well, let's do it twice, why not? So, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so today we have, we're trying something new. We are offering you a chance to get involved in the game. So there are two different ways you can get involved this time. You can either purchase an object, uh, which uh, you can see all the information about that up there. You can choose an object that we will incorporate into the story. So uh, as soon as you tell us what that is, we'll kind of log that in our memory and then one of us will try to get that into the story, into the plot line as soon as possible. And we are going to and show you the, the PDF that we're going off of with all of the options. You don't have to pick from the tables, but to keep on theme with our story and to kind of maximize the storytelling, I would suggest picking an object that we really could work into the scene that, that kind of relates to this, like, something is amiss in suburbia theme. Yeah, think of it as you're helping us tell the story. So, so give us a nice color that fits into the palette we're working with, if you can. Um, but even if you don't, we'll figure it out. <laughs> and the other thing that uh, you can do to get involved with the game is we have set up two different playlists of sound effects that you can send to us via... Jess, why don't you explain this part? Well, so they, they, they can only access Act 1 in Act 1, right? Mm -hmm, yes, okay, so in Act 2 in Act 2. There's, uh, there's two different playlists, which we will swap over at the intermission, but in the first act, we have some, just some innocuous sounds. We have a cat meowing. Let me let me show you a couple of them, if I can. Well, a cat screaming. Yeah, cat, they're, they're uh, like slightly creepy sound uh, to me. I cats some of them can screaming, be. yes. Mm -hmm. So if you go to our About page, um, there is a panel with sound alerts. I'm pulling it up myself right now. To kind of give you yeah, an example, we, we actually did. Uh, we took Pebbles into a voiceover booth and um, withheld treats from her, and she just <laughs> it was just like that easy. She's a great, great person to work with. I, I really love working with Pebbles. So actually, so right now we have the Act Two up, so we need to swap that over really quick. But you can take a, a, a peek at it if you uh, have our page pulled up. I'm gonna. I, I can do that. I'm already in. Or oh, do, do great! You no, no, you do it. You do it. So no the, in the second act, we have aliens, screech, animal creature, uh, townwide emergency siren. Okay, so now we, we've been swapped over to the first act. So yeah, here, uh, here is an example. <laughs> So these little fun things, uh, there's also a lawnmower. 
can be played and we will interact with them in real time. And like I said in the first act, pretty small, pretty simple. Second act, things start to ramp up and get a little yeah. scarier, depending I on what happens. Right, exactly. But uh, yeah, we will do, it, it'll be our job to make whatever it is that you send us important to the scene. And we're gonna be reacting to it in real time. So when we hear those sounds, we're gonna, you know, stop and react to them. So. So yeah, we would love for you guys to get involved. I'm really excited to see how you're going to, uh, what you're going to throw at us today. Uh, oh, and you may notice on a side note, this is not my normal setup. Well, <laughs> uh, if any of you were tuned in for the lock picking stream, you will remember that my internet is being very, very testy today. Yeah. So I have uh, driven over to Beth's place. Oh, oh, oh. That's, that is not a purchasable sound alert. No, but uh, but I still had to react to it. <laughs> we should add this as a sound alert. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, I'm getting a call. Sorry, I gotta go. Um, yeah, so uh, so I'm, I'm at Jess's place today. <laughs> Thank you, Jess, for letting me use your internet. Anytime. And uh, and that's that's all I had to say in this duo screen. Uh, Jess, was there anything else? No, let's bring in our new friends that we're gonna introduce, introduce you to. Say hello, everybody, you are live. Hi. Hello, <laughs> hello. 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 <laughs> so we have, uh, let's let's introduce them. And uh, Alex, you have their info, right? I we, do, We've never I met do. these people, who are you? Uh, so I'll start uh, from <laughs> left to right as I, as I see it on the actual Twitch. So first of all, we have Chris Lewis. Hello, Chris. Chris Hi. Lewis is the coldie behind Made in China 211, the YouTube channel, where he can be seen streaming Kingdom Hearts and descending into madness trying to explain the story. Oh, hi. <laughs> <Welcome> Chris. <laughs> it's a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> and then next we oh. have Rob Steinberg. Rob, Stein Rob Steinberg is a television film and voice actor out of Los Angeles. He's also a producer and a show host at Gamer World News. So if you have any game questions, you can go to either of those guys. Uh, Rob is an avid role play gamer and a longtime friend of Alex and Jess. This is true. Hi, Rob. Welcome. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's good to see you. <laughs> Great. And Rob will actually be uh, leading the game today as well. So thank you, Rob. Oh, for bless. Yeah, thank you for bless. inviting me to play my favorite role playing game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you introduced me to this game. Same. So, very apropos. Uh, all right, and next we have Vane uh, Asadorian, and she is an actress and a director based in Los Angeles. She's also an audiobook narrator and a voice actor. Vane loves board games and improv, so she jumped in on the opportunity to do this, and we are so, so grateful. Hi, Vane. Yay! <laughs> 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 We're so happy to have you all. Um, and we wanted to let uh, those of you who are not uh, role, uh, you don't typically play role playing games who are watching today. We have a couple of folks. Well, Chris and Rob have played Fiasco with us a couple. Have you played Fiasco with us, Chris? I haven't played with you guys, but I have played once before. Once before. With Rob. Okay, cool. And Vane has never played before. So this is very exciting. So this is an accessible game. No, 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 no. <laughs> not accessible. Not accessible. It's going to be a learning experience, Rob. <laughs> and Rob is going to take our hands, pull us into a, a group circle of love, and guide us through this game. Yes. No pressure. Thank you. Yeah. So, Rob, could Can't you tell wait. us a little bit about this playset, what we're getting into? Sure. Absolutely. Uh, so, um, for anybody who isn't familiar with Fiasco, uh, Fiasco is a role-playing game where everything inside the game is going to be improvised. Uh, none of us know any of what our characters are going to be or what we're going to do or uh, what's going to happen in this story. It's all going to happen right here on stream. You're going to watch the magic happen uh, as, as it goes through. And today, we are playing Home Invasion. Uh, Home Invasion is a playset that is uh, based on like Alien sort of uh sort of things uh creepy stuff is going on in the neighborhood uh i believe inside the inside the uh place that it's called the, the neighborhood's called poppleton but i don't know we could name it whatever we want. poppleton courthouse i think or no not court townhouses anyway poppleton. i gotta pull up my notes like <laughs> uh it does mention that there are that most play sets have movie nights and so the movie nights that go along with this are things like the twilight zone donnie darko uh invasion of the body snatchers 
those sorts of things. That being said, like we don't have to do anything like those movies, uh, but some of the stuff that we will have inside the playset is going to mirror uh, those motifs, yeah. uh, if also you will. Two, two movies that also came to mind for me were uh, The Coneheads and The Applegates, which is a mm -hmm. lesser known movie, The Applegates. But, uh, but yeah, just like neighbors who are just a little off. Hmm, where are they from? Right? Alex right? sent that right. trailer to me and now I, I want to watch it. There's so many so many watch parties that need to happen. It's pretty, uh, yeah, we have very... a lot of watch parties lined up. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, what is your favorite, uh, what is your favorite like alien encounter movie that you've seen? Ooh, you'd think I would have thought about this before the stream started. <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> <You're on the laughs> spot. <laughs> I don't know. I, I actually don't have a favorite that's coming to mind, but I did just recently watch the Alien movies, and mm. uh, very good. Love, Hold up, obviously. Love Aliens. Yes. Yeah. Marathon Alex, do you have any that come to mind for you? Any of your favorite sort of Alien encounter films? Well... I remember one of my favorite films when it came out, and I, I believe we recently rewatched it. Uh, was Signs? That was oh. a really, really suspenseful movie. I remember it just gripped me. When that movie Have you came seen it out, recently? everybody was like, "Oh my god, it's so scary!" I had to leave the theater. I watched it on a tiny TV when I was like twelve or whenever it came out, and I was like, "This isn't scary." Yeah, yeah, in the theater it's a little different. Like <laughs> that scene where he's like creeping around, you can see the aliens' feet. Oh my god, so scary! And also, uh, I recently uh, Arrival was really good as well. Oh yes, love with uh, Amy Adams. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's due for a rewatch too. I love Arrival. alien stuff. <laughs> Me too. Arrival was probably my favorite alien encounter film. I watched that with my wife, and I was like, "This movie is awesome. This is so cool." Yeah. yeah. What about you, Chris Vane? Favorite alien movies? Uh. Arrival, really good, really, really good. Uh, I saw in the chat somebody said Men in Black, and I love oh, Men in Black of movies. Course. So if that counts, like, solid, <laughs> yes. That counts. Yeah. Um, in Star Man Wars, in there's aliens in Star Wars. I like those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're encountering them. How about you, Vana? I think you might be muted, actually, but I don't know. I can see. There's a lot of uh, uh, joy behind what she's saying. She, yes. she loves alien movies. <laughs> well, while we're getting her uh, sound figured out, chat, what are your favorite alien movies? Please let us know. Oh, we're getting Independence Day, Star Trek, Whoa. Close Encounters. Close Encounters. Oh, Dag Bait, we played a, an alien RPG for the first time. That sounds fun. Ooh, that is Was, cool. Oh, Mars Attacks is in here. I forgot about Mars Attacks. That's a great movie. Uh, what's the yeah. one with the, with the pool that you get in and it makes you young? Uh, is that Cocoon? Oh, what? Oh, I haven't seen that, actually, but... Oh, no, I am I real? I'm, spoiler alert, uh, you get no, cool okay. young. <laughs> I think, maybe, I think I have seen Cocoon, if that's the one you're talking about, so yeah. I don't know, it's been a while. Uh, what was the other... Oh, Event Horizon? Isn't that an alien one, too? Mm -hmm. Or it's like a space one. Anyway. It's definitely I, space. I, I don't know if there's aliens in it, but yes. Event yeah. Horizon was intense. It was cool. Yeah. Does Interstellar count? <laughs> Does it? Yeah, time travel, it's not really aliens. Well, the, the point of that movie was the aliens are us. <gasps> <gasps> it's oh, us maybe, from the future. Maybe Across the dimensions. Maybe the friends we made along the way, you know? <laughs> Is this gonna be a wholesome RPG that we're playing tonight? <laughs> We'll find I hope so, <laughs> but, but with these sound bites I've heard, I don't know if this is gonna be as wholesome as I thought. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I mean, knowing our group too, and this is an 18 plus channel, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, we have a command for that, I believe. It's exclamation point fuck. Uh, yeah, putting it in now. Ah, yes. There you go. Yep. Got yeah. it. We said it. it. What you gonna do about it? So, <laughs> so we're definitely flir flirting with a rated R rating on this fiasco. Yeah, we can, we but go. you know. We're yeah. What do you mean flirting? We've already said fuck twice. Oh, now <laughs> oh man. Well, yeah, now, yeah. now we can't sell any merchandise to the kids, Chris. What are you doing? Chris, oh, you ruined it. <laughs> oh, getting a couple more suggestions in chat. Predator, Explorer, oh, two Explorers. Oh. I don't know what Explorers is. Mm, I don't know if I've seen yeah, that one. Seen that. Lilo and Stitch, it. though. <laughs> yeah. Sound back or uh, checking in on you, Vane? I'm, I'm troubleshooting with her now. Oh, okay, got it. Cool, cool. <laughs> they're, te they're texting back and forth. So uh, while they're doing that, I will reiterate, today you can be involved with the game. So if you want to choose an object that we will incorporate into the story, you can go to our About section and uh, just... Let me actually pull they... it up. I'm going to pull up yeah, yeah. The, uh, the object so you can just take a look Great here. Great idea. Great idea. Uh, 
All right, so it's a little small, but um, some examples of objects that will come into play. We will be choosing these two. Um, mm. Let's see, Ramo Ramones. Remains of a Ford probe on blocks in the front yard. That's very specific. Mm. Uh, municipal garbage truck. Uh, uninstalled hot tub. These are so fun. Disturbing yeah. Japanese import shotgun with homemade silencer taped to the barrel. <laughs> I like okay. that it's homemade, yeah. So you can really do anything. You know, I said earlier, like, pick something thematic. Uh, obviously, you could just do anything. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, but as far as the... One of them the... is just a person's name. Is it? It's just D Dave, Dave Weatherford. Weatherford. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, the object is a Wait, person. what is that? Are we missing something? Is that something? No, I imagine that that's, under... I mean, yeah. It's just like a person. Maybe it's a corpse. I think you make you make we Dave make Weatherford what you want Dave Weatherford yeah. to be. Yeah. yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right. So if you guys want to uh, get involved and send us an object that we can incorporate into the game, all you have to do is what, Jess? Go to... Um, in our About panels, you should see some information on how to submit a donation to do the objects. Is it this under is the our... support area? Or no, uh, it's yes, under... under support. This is our first time doing this, so bear with us. Um... Right. So, so you'll yeah. That's why I was I wanted to lay this out just so that it wasn't so that everybody knows what they can do to to get involved. Because if people want to play, I want to give them a chance to play. Uh, so we should get into uh, explaining the the character creation process. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Can you so, also uh, read the boilerplate for us, Rob? The the intro to oh, this, yes. this play yes. set? Oh yes, I would love to. Uh, let's see here. The score. We the people, we love Poppleton Terrace. <laughs> it's a nice middle-class neighborhood with a nice mix of professional families and a nice powerful homeowners association. Good people who get involved and know their neighbors. People who aren't afraid to tell you that the shade of blue you're painting your house is not exactly allowed by the Association Covenant. But lately, things have been unsettled around Poppleton Terrace. Property values are falling. Crime is rising. Longtime residents have been less than receptive to the suggestions of the Standards Committee. And now, new people are moving in. People who are not like us at all. Ooh. Very spooky. <laughs> uh, so the way the fiasco works is um, everything is going to be made up and we are going to use this playset to build all of our relationships and our needs and our objects of importance and our locations of importance. Uh, normally when you're playing a fiasco, this is sort of a, a Zoom version of fiasco, which uh, you could totally do. Uh, great game to play with your friends. Um, but normally in a game of fiasco, we would all be sitting around a table. Uh, and the way the fiasco works is you will have a relationship with the person to the left of you and the person sitting to the right of you. Uh, the other people who are sitting at the table are people who you will probably interact with throughout the story, but they're not people that you know immediately. Perhaps you've seen them around town, but you don't have a relationship with this person. Now you can build a relationship throughout the story, but uh, to begin to help uh, inspire the improv, uh, you'll have a relationship with the people that are next to you. Uh, each of us, is going to have a specific, uh, we're gonna start by selecting broad categories. So we can select a broad category saying like, hey, we're family, or we're both in the homeowners association, or we're both uh, sharing something. And then later uh, we will select a second die that will allow us to pick a specific category. So uh, for example, uh, with where we are sitting, mm -hmm. I am sitting next to Alex. And I could say that Alex and I are a uh, homeowners association and our specific category is we're honestly trying to work this out like two adults. <laughs> um, that's that's, so that's a great selection. Yeah. yeah. Um, so everybody here is going to have a specific relationship with the person to the left of them and the person to the right of them. Every relationship is also going to have either a need, an object, or a location. We have to have at least one of each, but you can have multiples, you can have multiple objects if you need, but you have to have at least one need, one object, and one location. And uh, whatever object or location or need you select is equally important to both characters. So if we select the, uh, what was it? Uh, is it shotgun with a homemade silencer or whatever? If I select that as the object of importance in Alex and I's relationship, it is equally important to both of us that we get that shotgun, or perhaps that we get it and the other person doesn't get it. Um, 
those sorts of things. So it's a uh, it's improv, but it's sort of uh, inspired improv. It helps you it helps you get the idea across of what what all you're gonna do. Um, are there any questions from anybody before we before we hop in? I have rolled the dice, uh, and so I am ready to go. Oh, excellent! Let me pull up the dice roller then for everybody so we can sure. see. So we're doing this a little bit different from last time you saw Fiasco if you were here for the dungeon run playing because we had a virtual tabletop. This time we have a handy dandy Fiasco dice tracker, which uh, is right here. Yeah. And you can access this online uh, if any of you want to play Fiasco by yourselves. Uh, you can just Google Fiasco dice tracker and this is a great way to do it. You can select the number of players that you want. No, a normal fiasco, play, fiasco game has up to five players. You can play with more, but the game gets longer. Um, and so, yeah, we have set this up. And uh, I don't know if you can really see, but it kind of shows the order uh, that we will be sitting in. Uh, so Alex is going to be sitting next to Jess, who is sitting next to Chris, who is sitting next to Vane, <laughs> who is sitting next to me, and then I am sitting next to Alex. So these will be our relationships uh, as we move forward. Very exciting. Woohoo! Um, is everybody taking notes? <laughs> yes. Uh, is everybody ready? Do we have everybody? Uh, are we are we through all any any uh, hiccups? Uh, still waiting to get Vane's audio up here. So as we're doing that, we'll go through character creation and hopefully we can manage to get that back up and running in the meantime. Sounds good. Because you can still okay. hear us, right, Vane? Maybe I not. Want... <laughs> to give a, a shout out to uh, Cassidy Weaver just mentioned Earth Girls Are Easy, which we literally just watched the other day, and it is a trip. It is so fun. So thanks for that shout out. All right. So all right. So we're gonna hop into it. We're gonna start with the character creation. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and pick the first die uh, just to get things rolling. Um, and uh -huh. the two people that I am sitting next to are Vane and Alex. Uh, and so for my die. I am going to say that Alex and I. Oh, are... actually, sorry, Rob. I should have said this earlier. Can we actually do the uh, the order of the the characters with relationships as uh, what's on the screen? Because that'll be easier for people to understand uh, as if oh, we're sitting yes. at the table as we are on the screen. Oh, definitely. Right. When when we're actually playing the game, will uh, as in like telling the story, it'll be a different screen, but it, this part won't matter as much. You know? Yes. Did I do it? Did I do it? Hello. Yay! We can hear her! Oh, yay! Woohoo! She's back! Wow. <laughs> Please welcome Bonnie back! <laughs> Everybody give a round of applause so for audio! <laughs> yay! Alright. Fighting the tech beast once again, every time it's something. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna change the order you guys were saying? Yes, we're gonna change the order. So now uh, the order of the players is me, and then Chris, and then Jess, and then Alex, and then Vane, and then back to me. So awesome. it looks the way that it looks on the screen. Perfect, thank uh, so you so much. you'll notice the two people who are next to you are the people who you will have a relationship with, except for Alex, she loops around and connects us back into the circle. Great. Great, all right, I'm gonna select the first die uh, to get things rolling. And uh, so now I am sitting next to Chris and Vane, and I'm gonna say that uh, Vane and I I'm gonna say that we are, I'm gonna use a one, and I'm gonna say that Vane and I are uh, members of the Homeowners Association. Okay, I need, I, yes. I need to write this down, because I like Vane to- Vane and I are members is. of the Homeowners Association. Rob, Vane, members of the Homeowners Association. Okay. Uh, and next up would be Chris. Oh, geez. Okay. Get away. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, hmm. uh, I suppose that, uh, wait, no, I'm not sitting next to myself. That is not correct. I'm sitting next to Rob. <laughs> so, Chad, this is what we're looking at here. We're looking at this relationships page because you want to start with relationships, like Rob said. Relationships. Okay. The relationships so. are normally the most important, uh, more important than the objects and things, yeah. I will take a five and say that uh, Je that Jess and I are uh, neighbors. Okay. Mm. Just just neighbors. Just no, we're just, just <laughs> neighbors. This is also a good time for me to say you don't have to use the die on yourself. 
you can you can assign die to other people on oh. your turn. Yes. Well, gosh. Which I'm going to do. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. So do we have a six for family? We do have multiple sixes. Yes. Right. All right. I'm going to do family for Alex and Vane. Okay. Ooh. Excellent. Okay, okay. Uh, Alex and me? Uh, yes. And then it's my turn to pick, right? Just, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what die we, do we have? A lot of... A lot uh, of... We have a lot of twos. Um, we have a lot of fours. We are low on ones. We have one one left. But the last oh. die is wild. So uh, one. that's wild. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna say that. Hmm. Do we have any threes or no? We have multiple threes. Yeah, we have a uh, we have about four threes. Okay. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that <laughs> Jess and I two and say that we're sharing. Mm. We're what? We're sharing? Sharing. Okay. Sharing. Okay. Sharing horror. Sharing. Sharing. Every little thing you wear me. Okay. So. I believe okay, is it my turn? turn? Yes. So you can either yes. choose a large oh. category or you can choose a the, the subcategory within something that's already been chosen for anybody. Okay, got it. Um, I am going to do uh, Jess and Alex under sh sharing. Do I have yep. to do, I have to pick a die, correct? Yes. Correct. Is any, everything is available? Okay. Everything is available. Um, all right, I would like you guys to share a heavy burden. Oh, Ooh. love it. Yes. Sharing a heavy burden, <laughs> writing that um, down. And I'm sorry, who was that between again? Alex and okay. Jess. Jess and Alex. All right. <laughs> that makes it my turn again. Um. All right, so everyone has a broad category except Chris and I. Um. Uh, the plan, business, neighbors. Chris, what's your relationship with uh, with Jess? Uh, we're neighbors. You are neighbors. Okay. Yes. Now, does it have to be the five, or is it the? No, never mind. The five is what gave you the neighbors. Uh, okay, five is neighbors. top category. Yep. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, Chris, what do we want to be? Um, I don't know. What do you want to be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the plan, and I'm also looking at family. Do we have a family relationship already? We do have a family relationship already. We do, already. yeah. Uh, the plan we don't is, have the, the plan. The plan is kind of cool, because that's, that's like you're possibly alien, right? Yeah. Leader, it adds like, minion. Or we could be like cultists or like weird, <laughs> you know, like Ooh, preppers. I didn't even think about how we could have cults in this game. Yeah. Yeah, we could be we're anything. Alien, we're it doesn't man. even have to be alien. Yeah, like, I mean, we went with the alien like theme as far as like the promos and everything, but it, it can really be whatever we want. Yeah, so. aliens never even have to show up. I'm gonna select a three, and I'm gonna say that Chris and I are members of the plan. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. The plan. Ooh. Okay. So I own a home, and I'm a member. The plan. <laughs> He's living the suburban dream. Uh, next up is Chris. Oh, me again. Okay. Uh, we got uh, how many? We still got. Some... Wow, we got plenty of fours. So I'm gonna choose a four. Uh, and what is uh, what's hmm 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 hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to keep track of who's what now. Uh, okay, so. This is the Vanna most no heavy. Alex are family. So, I'm going to say that the four 
go applies to their family, so they are the golden child and black sheep. That's the one I wanted when I picked Love family. It. I was. Oh that me, that's I, me and Alex, right? Yes. 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 Okay, cool. Yeah. So that is your that is your specific relationship walking into the game. Golden child okay. and black sheep. Nice. Uh -oh. That's a good one. I was thinking about selecting that as well. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> okay, so we're getting lower on the die here, but looks like we still have everything? Uh, yeah, we still got everything available. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. We need a subcategory for Rob and Chris. Chris and I. And my, me and Alex, okay. Uh, and me and Rob. Mm -hmm. So... Oh yeah, the, the the homeowners association is so long. I thought it was two categories. Everybody needs one except for Alex okay. and Bonnie. Okay. Let's see. I kind of like this homeowners association. Um. <laughs> <laughs> How about the standards <laughs> committee chair and the neighbor with no standards? <laughs> ah, I love it. Amazing. So we'll pick up a four on that one. All right, at four. Standards committee chair and the neighbor with no standards. I like it. Uh, Alex, you are up next. Okay, so we know that Jess and Chris are neighbors. Uh, Jess and I are sharing a heavy burden and that Rob and Chris are part of the plan. So, um, let's see. Oh, a heavy burden is our subcategory. We do have one, got it. Yes, okay. Yeah. I'm looking at the plan and I'm looking at neighbors. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna say, ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say actually that um, I'm gonna give you guys that uh, three. I'm gonna give you three on the plan. Do we, do we have threes left? Uh, we do have threes left. Okay, great. So Rob and Chris, uh, that's gonna be. <laughs> uh, leader and Menion. Oh, great. Mm. Nice. Typical. Awesome. You guys you guys would be the weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> but which one of us is the head weirdo? That's the question. That's the question. Ooh, I guess we'll find out. That's what we're going to find out. It sounds like referees. It's like, oh, uh, that's going to be a three on the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the bits, three Cassidy Weaver. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, Avana, uh, <laughs> your turn. Okay, so uh, we've got Jess and Chris, right? Neighbors? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, okay. What kind uh, of neighbors? Ooh. At war? We are going but to not be long. neighbors at war. At war? At two, yeah. <laughs> at war. At war! Not okay. so simple neighbors after all. <laughs> 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 this is great. I can already picture this neighborhood being going completely sideways. <laughs> all right. So that's all the relationships filled in. That is all the relationships filled in, I believe. Uh, which means that we now go on to needs, uh, locations, and objects. Okay. Um, cool. So let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna work on Chris and I's relationship here. Um, yes, we need to work on our relationship. Rob. Yeah, we need to work on our relationship. We need to, we need to work on sharing. Uh, I like objects. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, the, things about you. <laughs> the home improvement objects are, are ridiculous. <laughs> home degradation, distant and professional. Vaguely um, offensive topiary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. There's here. A, objects, there's just so much to choose from. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And, and keep in mind, every, all, all of the players, that if you see something that is funny that we can't, that we didn't, don't necessarily have the die for, um, you could always just introduce that yourself. Yep. I think we also have to do a subcategory and a big category, right? I mean, a big Correct. category. Correct. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
So I'm going to go with, uh, how many threes do we have? We have two threes left. So I'm going to use a three, and I'm going to say that, uh, Chris, you and I's relationship have as an object of home improvement. Object of home improvement, okay. Yes. Uh, and then it will be Chris's turn. Oh, shoot. Object of home, home, improve. <laughs> I'm just going to say imp. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> Who doesn't have any relationship? Let's see. Everybody has a relationship at this point. We all did. So now no, we're into like... needs. Oh, go ahead. Oh, do I do I have to add on to those specific relationships, or can I introduce like a location between, say, the Jess and Rob? Uh huh. You yeah. can introduce. Yes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Well, not only, not not between Jess and I, because we're not connected. But you can introduce a location between anybody who is connected. Okay, so they do have to be connected first. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Who the heck is Chris Nasser? He's all over this needs chart. I, I'm just making sure needs are met, man. Uh, so Jess and Alex, you guys are already sharing a heavy burden, but I'm uh -huh. also gonna take a number two. Nope, I should rephrase that. I'm gonna choose the number two. <laughs> and I'm gonna... Chris, if you're gonna do that, do it off camera. <laughs> take a break, buddy. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you guys a location, which is the old end. Oh, Ooh. I don't know what that means. But okay, the old end. That was for, uh, for Alex and Jess. Jess. And Alex. Uh -huh. The old oh. end. Okay. okay, I'm partial to needs, so mm. let's see. Vane and Rob, Alex and Vane, Chris and Jess. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Chris Nasser does show up so much. In this. <laughs> um, I kind of want to do Alex and Vane's need. So let's see. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get wild here. And uh, do we have any fours left? Uh, we do have one four yeah. left. Yeah, we're gonna get, get the plan in motion. motion. Mm. Mm, okay. And that's a need for uh, Alex for and Vane. Okay. All right. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. You'd think it would be for Rob and <laughs> Chris, like, but it ain't. They're like yeah. they're like feuding siblings, but then they're trying to work together. They're trying to work together yeah, on some sort of plan. To work together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So uh, it's me? Yes, yes, it is Alex next. Okay, great. So uh, how are we doing on dice? Uh, we have a one, we have one two, we have one three, we have no fours, <laughs> we have two one, fives and two, two sixes. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. Okay. I also like needs. Um, so. <laughs> um, I'm going to give, um, hmm. I like needs, but I might not choose them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just thinking. So, okay, I'm going to go locations. Okay. And... I like locations too. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, we do need a subcategory oh, for. I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm gonna choose a three and give it to uh, Rob and Vane. Um, it's yeah, three. The new end. The new mm, end. Got the old Not end. The, the, old, new the end. old end. The new okay. end. Exactly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that was for Rob and Vane, you said? Uh huh. All right, so now, Vane, you get to choose location, need, or object. Okay, I am going to do. Can you guys hear me? You can hear uh -huh. me. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, uh, you have object already. Um, I'm going to do Jess and Chris. <gasps> object. Okay. Neighbors of war. What are the die left? There's a two, one, two, three, four. There's one of everything? 
Uh, we are missing threes and fours. We're missing threes and fours, yes, okay. Um, mm. Personal. You're looking for something personal? In objects? Can we do up close and start? Yeah. Oh, up, oh, close, up and close and personal. Number six. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Six. Who is that for? Chris and Jess. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. We are at war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dental appliance partially melted. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? What is it? What is a disturbing Japanese import? Could that be anything, or are they? It could be anything. <laughs> Literally <laughs> anything from Japan. As long as it's disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> and from Japan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's all I'll say. <laughs> Too disturbing. Yeah. Too disturbing. Okay, I'll roll the back. <laughs> it is my turn. Uh, we have a we have locations. We have objects. We've selected a need, right? Somebody has yes. some relationship has a need. What is our need relationship? The family need between the golden child and the black sheep is need to get the plan in motion. To get the plan in motion. Yes. Oh, I like that. Uh, what do we have? We have ones, twos, so we sixes, and fives. We basically have one more round left of choosing our things. Yeah. By acquiring a final recruit, by burying the evidence. Ooh, that's, no. that's dark. By completing <laughs> final assembly. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Wait, what I like does that. that. Mean? I don't know. We don't I know. The idea that Okay. You're like feuding sisters and you have to work together to fix something or finish. Oh, assembly, like thing. putting something together. I, yeah. I was thinking of an assembly like you have at school. Like, all right, we're having an assembly on Friday. Everyone come to the auditorium. <laughs> it could be. It's felt the same, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, this is, uh, this is a tough one. I'm going to say by completing final assembly. I like, I like that. Okay. okay. All right, so that's that is between our. Between whom? That is uh, Alex and Vonne. Yeah, ah. Uh, and then it will be Chris's turn. Ay, ay, ay. By completing final ass. All right. Cool. <laughs> Let's see. So we got a one, two, final five, and six. Ass. Uh, let's. A one, two, five, and six, you say. The last die is wild. Ooh, it's wild. Mm -hmm. Wild child. So if we find something we all really like. That die is we wild. Can, we can it's do something wild. crazy. That die is wild. Die's gone wild. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna flesh out the plan between Rob and I. Let's see. Oh wait, no, no, sorry, sorry. Flesh out the object of home An improvement. An object, yeah. Mm. Let's see, object, home improvement. Uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna go with number one, an uninstalled hot tub. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted it to be the uninstalled hot tub. Amazing. Your wish is my command. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly be important about this hot tub? <laughs> We'll it's the out. key to everything, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have left six, two, and five. Ooh. All right, I think I need to bring out some um, locations here, some sub-locations. Six, two, and five. Let's take a look. So that's, uh, we got old end and new end, six, two, and five. Two identically painted houses on Piccolo Lane. Oh, I do like that. Mm-hmm, I like that one too. Who's the old? Who's the, uh, who's, who's old? Who, Jess and Alex, <laughs> sharing the heavy <laughs> burden. <laughs> Our heavy burden is two identically painted houses. <laughs> the house where people always come and go that's all capitalized. Wait, what? what? That's the sixth option in the old end, and it's all caps. Uh, the each each word is ca is a uh, has a capital at the very beginning, as if it is oh, a proper oh. sentence. As if it's the title of something. I think they. Oh yeah. Hmm. I like oh. that. I like that one a lot. Uh. And so I'm sorry. It was a Mysterious. two, two, six, and five. Okay. So what's our fives? 
where, where the, the fire, fire was. was. Oh. <gasps> oh. oh, that sounds like an old end tragedy. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that that goes with heavy burden. So I'm gonna say that's Alex and I, our shared location, where actually where the fire was. Uh, the, the, the house where people always come and go is pretty good too, though. I know. It's so creepy, but I <laughs> all right, mean, let's look. do that. Let's do that. The house where people come and go. Okay. Okay. Because that's so ambiguous, you know. And that could be a heavy burden too. <laughs> yeah. Hundred percent. Uh, next up is Alex. Alex, you have two die to choose from, a two and a five. Okay. Uh, and the things that we need to figure out are, uh, Vane and I's relation, or Vane's, Vane and I's location, and okay. what's the other one that we have left undone? Um, we have Chris and, up close and personal uh, Chris and Jess. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right, I think I want to choose the, from the, the new end. Um, okay. Okay. So that is, um, I, I have a two and a five. So it's either a yard with something written on it in weed killer or a corner of freedom and piccolo where neighbors meet. I, I mean, I'm sorry. It's just gotta be the yard with something yeah. written on it in, in weed yeah. killer. Oh yeah. They're at war. That's much more reason. mysterious. Yeah. Yeah. So it's that yard with something written in it on, in weed killer. All right. Uh, that's the new end, and that is yard with something written in it. Mm -hmm. Killer. Love it. And then last. That's for but, us, right? Yes. Yes, that's for us. This is great because that's the one I wanted in in this category too. Rob's yeah. getting Fair. all of his wishes. I am. I am. I don't know how I'm gonna play any of it, but I love where this is going right now. Um, and then last is. Okay. Uh, Vane, you it's a wild. You can you can pick whatever you want under the category that we have left, which is uh the object, right? It's the I'm up close and personal home. object. Yeah. Yeah. Between Jess and I, who okay. are the warring neighbors. You are the up. warring neighbors, yes. Okay. Um all right, it's gonna be it's gonna have to be shotgun with a homemade silencer. Oh, what? That <laughs> is war. Oh, <laughs> my oh my god. Silencer. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do you even. Can you make a homemade silencer? Okay, anyway. Oh, I played The Last <laughs> of Us. You can make a homemade silencer. It's just a bunch of it's cotton just, balls you know, wrapped in saran wrap. Pillow. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. It's also yeah. homemade, so you don't know if it's really gonna work. Like it could yeah. probably like, blow up in your face. It's the loudest yeah. silencer ever. <laughs> it's like a tuba attached to the end of this gun. It's wrapped around the handle instead of the actual barrel. <laughs> <laughs> that was the tuba going off when you shot the gun. So with these objects and locations and uh, needs, they don't have to come into play right away, right? They can come into play at any point during the movie. Correct. Uh, so these these objects of importance are uh, they're going to be important to your relationship, but they don't have to come in immediately. Um, it's just important to know that it's important to the both of you. Uh, it helps to like really like drive home something that you both need, so that way you can you can interact more more frequently. Um, this is also a good time to uh, remind everybody that um, we will all be playing main characters in the story. Uh, we will all have names. Um, and our main characters, anything could happen to our characters at any time. Uh, so you could die, you could become an alien, uh, you could turn into somebody else, like anything could happen. Um, and all of these scenes could take place at any point inside of the movie. So if your character does die, you could come back in like flashbacks or you could play some, you know, some, this is a, oh, this is a childhood origin story of this character or whatever. Um, also, everyone here will play all of the non-playable characters. So if anybody shows up in a scene, uh, like say the mailman drops by, uh, I could play the mailman. Um, and then the mailman could become somebody who's like way more integral to the story than you ever had any idea to be. Uh, you never know, you never know. 
Uh, so Jess and Alex, uh, we have all of our selections. Is there anything else you guys want to do before we start playing the game? Well, last time we played Fiasco on Hello Goodberry, I really liked Jeff's idea of everybody has to name the person next to them Ooh. instead of naming yourself. Ooh. Cool. I like that. I like that. So should we keep the order that we had where you start, Rob, and it goes around? Sure. Okay. We can do that. So I'm gonna name I'm gonna name Chris's character, right? Yes. And he will name me okay. and I will name Alex and Alex will name Bonnie. Bonnie will uh name Chris, me. what are your relationships? Uh well, with you, we are members of the clan and we are leader and minion, and we also have an object of home improvement, which is the uninstalled hot tub. <laughs> and then I also have a relationship with Jess, where we are neighbors at war and the object Related to it is a shotgun with a homemade silencer. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Alright, so Chris is the type of dude who is interested in a shotgun with a homemade silencer. And he's also into the plan. Uh, <laughs> Could be me. Plan. Could be me that has a yeah. shotgun. Uh, I'm going to say, Chris, yeah, your name... Your name is... Uh, uh, Chuck... <laughs> Uh, uh, Richardson. Okay, oh, just a normal name for a normal Chuck guy. Up. Richardson. <laughs> Nothing weird going on here. <laughs> just a normal Chuck Richardson. Hey, fellas, I'm Chuck Richardson. Uh, okay, and so now I will <laughs> name <laughs> Jess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, I'm at war with you. Hi. Hello. And um, oh, hi. I am sharing a heavy burden with uh, Alex, and our shared mm -hmm. location is the house where people come and go in the old end. Mm, the old end. It sounds so proper and mysterious, like you've been, uh, been here before. As mm. Concerned Citizen says, not sus at all. Let's mm. see. I'm at war with you. Now, Chuck may be at war with someone who's far different than him. So maybe, Jess, your name is Francesca de la Vega. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was de la Vega? Uh, Vega, but you can Vega. Yeah, de la Vega. Vega. Francesca de la Vega. De la Vega. Got it. <laughs> what? Oh my god, the last game I played, I was French, I love that so. <laughs> I just... I, I'm already thinking this person in my head, but I'm. Whew, okay, I'm not I'm trying When not you gotta to... type, you gotta type. Yeah. Alright, Alex. <laughs> yes. I'm, uh. Okay, so my relationships, do you wanna know? Yes. So you and I are sharing a heavy burden, and our location. Uh, our location is in the old end at the house where people come and go. And I am also with Vane. Uh, she and I are family. So one of us is the golden child. One of us is the black sheep. And we have a plan in motion. We're trying to get the plan in motion of completing final assembly. Whatever that is. <laughs> so your name, Alex is Tilly Poppleton. Tilly Poppleton of Poppletons? Of the Poppletons who founded this whole neighborhood? Yes, Oh my girl. God, of the Terrace Poppletons? Of the yes, terrace. girl. <laughs> oh. Tilly Poppleton, thank you. Uh, okay. That makes Vane a Poppleton as well, right? Perhaps. Uh, yes. Yeah. Maybe she's a half sibling? Maybe she's full? Maybe she's... The child. I'm gonna say your Vane. You want to hear my my his, yes, my please. stuff? I would love to. Okay, me and Rob are members of the HOA um, committee chair and a neighbor with no standards. Who's who? We don't know. And uh, who's who? We don't know. The uh, we're our location is the new end, and the. With the, in the yard with something written in it mm. with weed killer. Oh, right. I forgot. And then me. Yeah. 
And then me and you, Alex, our family, Golden Child and Black Sheep, we need to get the plan in motion by completing final assembly. Oh, Brandon Nerd just made a great point. One of you could be married and have taken a different last name. Mm -hmm. That is true. You could that be married true. to the Poppletons. Or Oh. She's, she's perhaps married she's to married. The Poppleton. Right, right, right. Are you blood? Or are you not blood? Hmm. Or perhaps you can decide huh? later. Golden child and black sheep. I'm going to say that Tane, your last name is Poppleton. And okay, cool. your first name is Ray. R A E. Mm. Ooh. Ray Poppleton. Ray Star Wars. Ray and Tilly. <laughs> Ray and Tilly. The chip names. Okay, Rob. Yes. Um I am, relationships. Okay, you're I am a homeowner with you, uh, the standards committee chair, and the neighbor with no standards, uh, with the location of the new end, yard with something written in it with weed killer. And then I also have a relationship with Chris uh, of the plan, uh, a leader in minion relationship. Uh, and our object of importance is an uninstalled hot tub. <laughs> okay. Um, your, your name is going to be Spike, and you don't have a, you just go by Spike. <laughs> just Spike! Spike. <laughs> just Spike. <laughs> yes, I love it. It's like Not suspicious at we all. We don't know your last name. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. What a great decision. <laughs> what fun. All right. Uh, so now we all have names. Spike. Spike. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I need to get into Spike. I need to figure out where who's, who is Spike. What, what's going on in there? I know. Who, um, the, who the heck is Francesca de la Vega? Oh. That's a lot. That's a lot in a name. Uh, okay. So now we have we have all of our names. We have all of our relationships. We have all our objects of importance. Is there anything else that anyone needs before we get going? In I that know, you can get involved. You can choose an object. You can choose a sound. If we hear that sound, we will react in real time. So excited to see what you do. Uh, all right, we're gonna hop right into it then. Uh, the way the fiasco works is we're gonna go around in circles. Uh, we are each going to have a turn. We're each gonna get two scenes in an act, and then halfway through the game, uh, we will implement what is called the tilt. And the tilt is sort of like an all-purpose shit stir, just in case we don't find a way to mess things up already. Uh, it introduces things that are messed up in the story. And then we will do act two, which is two rounds around it. And then we will have the aftermath. When it is your turn, you can do one of two things. Uh, you can either establish a scene, uh, which is, you know, you say like, oh, interior, dining room, uh, this is what's going on. I'm having this conversation with this, with this human being, blah, blah, blah. And then you jump into it. Or if you're having a hard time coming up with a scene, you can choose to resolve a scene. So you can say, I don't know what the scene should be, but I want this scene to end well for my character. Or I don't know what this scene could be, but I want this scene to end badly for my character. I want to get a black die. Um, halfway through a scene, everybody else here is going to give a signal of either a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on how they want the scene to end for your character. That doesn't mean that it has to be like physical pain happens to you, but whatever <laughs> it is that you're trying to have happen, yeah. maybe doesn't succeed. Just unsuccessful, yeah. Yeah. So it's our job to see these see these thumbs and sort of act accordingly. Uh, and at the end of the game, the dice that you have will help to inspire your epilogue, the stuff that happened, the little the little after credits scenes that that everyone sees. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Black dye towards the tail end of the game tend to signify physical harm. Uh, white hot, white dye tend to signify uh, mental harm. Uh, you want to have a mixture of two, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Or, or no, perhaps uh, I'm wrong. No, like, the lower no your number is, the worse it is. Yes, but... the closer to zero, the worse it gets. Oh, <laughs> Who's to so say you what's worse, have... really? You want to have a lot of white dye or a lot of black dye at the end of the game. If you have a little bit of both, then things things are going south. Mm. 
But it's fun when things go south, so. Yeah, yeah. 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 And again, there are no winners. The winners here are the viewers uh, and <laughs> us and the laughs and friends that we made along the way, you know. Uh, so with that being said, I am going to hop into it and start. I will be I will be the hot chair uh, for the beginning of the game. Um, so and I, I am going to start this out by uh, having a scene with Vane. Uh, and I'm going to say that uh, Spike, uh, it is, it is uh, early morning, Saturday. Uh, the sun is up in the sky. Clear blue sky, beautiful day. The birds are chirping in Poppleton. Uh, the flowers have just began to, to bloom. It is a fantastic, beautiful neighborhood. Although there is one problem house at the end of the street. And uh, Spike's car, uh, he, he pulls up in this old, beat up Oldsmobile that on the back says, uh, the homeowner um, <laughs> on the license plate. Uh, and Spike gets out of his car. He has a he has a clipboard, uh, and he walks up to the front door and he knocks on the front door. And uh, the camera pans back to the mailbox, and on the mailbox you can see uh, R. Poppleton is on on the mailbox. And so there's a slight knock on the door, and Spike awaits to hear a response. Hi. Uh, hi, Spike. Oh, hi, Ray. How are you? How are the kids? Hi. Good, good. <laughs> Look, Ray, yeah. I don't, I don't mean to, I don't mean to intrude. Uh, but we've been getting a couple of complaints. You see, uh, Ray, if you and I, he, he leans over and looks into your house, and the house is sort of in in a bit of disarray. Uh, everything is sort of like like cluttered and a bit like that like there's, there's too much stuff hanging around and he says uh look ray uh we were very clear uh that your bushes are only allowed to be five feet tall and uh currently i have uh my guy out there measuring it and you are at five feet two inches and i'm afraid that is two inches that we just can't can't keep here in papa terrace uh you you understand you're clearly uh -huh. uh, you're Your father uh, did such a fantastic job uh, putting together this fantastic community, and I would just hate to see it go to waste. Let me just let me just uh, say something there, Spike. Um, you know how long my family and I have been in this this area? Well, of course, you have been here for exactly forty-seven and a half years. Uh, <laughs> it's right yes. here. Uh, it's right here, written on the top of our letterhead. Forty-seven and a half years, yeah. Poplar Terrace. Forty-seven and a half. Uh, do you know the, the name of the terrace here? Uh, well, <laughs> see, I see what you're doing, Ray. I see what you're, you're doing. You're doing it again. You know, this is why, you, you, Ray, you can't just ignore the standards because you're a Poppleton. It's, th there are, listen, there are listen. rules, Ray. Spike, I wrote the rules, okay? I got drunk one night and I wrote the rules with my dad. The rules don't mean anything. The, 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 the rules are, Ray, I just, okay, if you're not gonna cut the bushes, if you're not gonna cut the bushes, can you at least do something about the writing in the yard? It's, it's unattractive to the rest of the neighbors. It's, we can't have a, we can't have a giant message written in the grass that says things are changing, okay? <laughs> it's not, it's not going to help our, we have, we have important, we're trying to bring important people into this neighborhood, Ray. I, I want to help your family. Spike. Oh, I didn't, I didn't write the message on there. I, I didn't do it. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I mean, I, I see it. I saw it this morning, but I wasn't concerned as much as you are concerned about it. So I will just take a, I will just take a, take a walk, take a long walk in the terrace and just uh, breathe the nice air. I think it would be good for you. Okay? okay, Ray. Okay. You know what? I'm, 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 I'm gonna leave it at that. But I promise, this is not the last you've heard of me. And in, in, in the next time I come around. Oh, I know. The next time I come around, there better be some, some, some gravel or, or, or something covering that sign, because, because you know, it's just, uh, it's just a shame to see, 
to see your family's legacy go to waste. You know, what would... Um, Spike, things are changing. And then the door slams in his face. Scene. Scene. Yes. Nice opening. All right. That was good. That was good. Very good. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, in the first <laughs> act, when you get a die, you get to give that die to other characters. Uh, I got a black die, obviously, because that did not go well for Spike. Um, but I am going to give this black die to Ray. So Ray <laughs> has one black die. <laughs> All right, and then we are move on to uh, Chris. So it is it is Chuck Richardson's turn. Chuck Richardson. Uh, yep. Question first: uh, Do the other viewers have say in like the thumbs up or thumbs down about whether it turns out if it's yeah. like, not clear if it's gonna turn out good or bad? So mid scene, everybody else is voting whether or not they want it to go well or or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and I was watching, and we all, all three of us who were not in the scene did. Oh, okay. Cool. Worked out. I gotta pay more attention to you guys then. <laughs> I'm I was always so telling you that. On those two. <laughs> That's the it's the one thing that people forget most often is the thumbs and yeah. stuff. But yeah. Uh, Chuck, you are up. Would you like to set a scene or would you like to resolve a scene? I'm gonna set a scene. All right. So picture this. It is a clear, sunny day in Poppleton Terrace. Outside the very well decorated and well looking home of Francesca de la Vega, outside at the gate of her fence that leads to her front door is Chuck Richardson with a big old sign, and that sign says De la Vega must go. And I and Chuck is just marching up and down this sidewalk going, De la Vega must go. De La Vega must go, and I'm just shouting it at all the passerby cars, and anyone that honks, I give them a big old holler. Woo! Francesca opens her squeaky screen door and walks out onto her uh, front porch. She's wearing long, uh, hippie-ish robes, uh, and she's got this sort of faraway look in her eyes. Check. Chuck, stop it. Well, well, well. <laughs> if it isn't Miss Francesca de la Vega. What do you think's going to happen? People are going to see your sign and burn down my house? Well, that is a best case scenario, <laughs> but I will also accept if they, at the next association meeting, vote to have you kicked out of this here neighborhood of Poppleton Terrace. Look, just because people do things differently than you doesn't mean they don't have a right to live here. Well, perhaps if people didn't steal each other's objects, people wouldn't be out here picketing your here house here. Now, <clears throat> Excuse me? <laughs> You heard me. I know it was you. I know it was you. It had all your grubby fingerprints all over it. Well, would, would you like to come in my house and take a look for yourself? Come on, Chuck. She, she starts to walk towards him, outstretching her hand. Come inside the house. Well, uh, Chuck, not expecting this turn of events with an, uh, uh, an opportunity to search Francesca's house... <laughs> Isn't sure what to do here. He he lowers the sign to his side and says, "Well, uh, if 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 in your offering, then I will be uh, taking taking you up and on that. Yes, uh, I'll just I'll just place this right here." And he places the sign down, leans it up against the fence, making sure it is facing outward still. And he uh, <laughs> he patiently waits for Francesca to get to the fence door. Uh, she she outstretches her her long fingers uh, covered in in rings and <laughs> grasps his hand and leads him inside the house. The house is lit only by candlelight, and there seems to be a motif of eyes everywhere. Oh goodness! <laughs> Taken aback, Chuck is uh, trying <laughs> to avoid each and every eye's uh, sight. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, Francesca, you sure do have a lot of, uh, eyeballs around here. Yes. 
<laughs> May I ask what that is about? Oh, they're always watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. Uh, <laughs> well, then, if, if you don't mind, I'd like to search your uh, garage as well as wherever you would keep storage items. Of course. I'll make some tea for you while you look. Uh, well, thank you very much. And he just starts to walk down a hallway, not uh, not realizing that you never actually gave him directions to the uh, locations that he requested. As you walk, you don't know if it's uh, the trick of the light or just your imagination, but it seems like the eyes are following you. <clears throat> I, I, I make I make eye contact with one painting that is on the wall and I do the little <laughs> very interesting and I just start to open doors looking in them just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just as I thought now Franche uh, Francesca what sort of rooms does he happen on uh, you will find uh, it's a small home you'll find uh, a bedroom that is swathed in velvets and sheer fabrics, very he he a mixture of heavies and lights, embroidered, um, uh, celestial motif happening. <laughs> um, and you do find the garage. All right, now this is what garage. I'm talking about. Uh, he looks around. Is there a car here? No, there is no car. No, no car, no car in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I will say the garage is strangely empty. It, 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 typical, she doesn't drive, but what? This is weird. Hmm. And you hear I s behind you oh. a lock click. Oh! <gasps> oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Suddenly a cat! out of nowhere <laughs> seems to jump up on the chuck and it seems to claw his arms and he's like, oh, get this feline <laughs> catastrophe off of me. Oh, jeez, he peeks. Oh. Scene. <laughs> oh, my God. Fantastic. Excellent, Twinsons. Thank that you, Twinsons. Incredible. Well done. Great timing. Oh, my God. Lured into a trap. What fun. <gasps> what fun. What oh fun. God. Well, I don't think that ended well, for sure. No, it did no. not. Oh. It did not well at all. You got thumbs uh, down, so, so that's good. Chuck Richardson Eddie, didn't get that black die, but in the first round, you get to give it away. Chuck, who do you want to give that black die to? Give it away, give it away, give it away to Jess. Yes, yeah, yes. I saw that coming from a mile away. There you go. <laughs> what, uh, fun. what fun. But Jess, it is Francesca's turn. Oh, uh, boy. Where would you like to take us? Um, Let's see. I think we need to talk to Tilly Poppleton. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay, so this is, I wanna put it in a different part of the movie, different time in the movie, because I don't wanna uh, go away from the scene that I have with Chuck. So we'll say um, a day earlier, Tilly and Francesca are sitting on Tilly's porch, sipping tea. <clears throat> Tilly, you're just glowing, absolutely glowing. What is your secret? Oh. Well, if I told you, then it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Oh. <laughs> Tilly has, she is the embodiment of the perfect housewife woman. Like, she's bleach blonde, just like, and it looks like light is radiating off of the color of her hair. Uh, her skin is, is so clear and wrinkleless, but she has to be in uh, her, you know, late 30s. But you couldn't tell. Her, her nails are perfectly manicured, the perfect pearl pink, and she wears a, a pink suit, a, a two-piece uh, 
skirt and beautiful silk shirt. So they're sipping tea together and, um, <clears throat> yes, I am glowing, you see. Things have been going quite well for me lately. Oh, yes? Yes, yes. Ever since you brought that, uh, last new friend over. Oh, of course, of course. I've been feeling better than ever. And, um, when do you think you could bring another? Oh, um, well, how soon do you need them? Oh, it's no rush. You know, I just have uh, my babies to feed. <laughs> and myself, of course, but I only take a little bit. Well, I have somebody I could most certainly find. <laughs> People who remain oh, close no. to me are easy to invite over. <laughs> really? Well, you, don't, you do remember you need to... I know I, I always remind you of these things, and you are more responsible than you look. Thank you. <laughs> you have to steal a certain item that is personal to them in an emotional way. So if you can get something, steal something from this new friend, then, uh, then I can go about what I need to. <laughs> Excellent. Ah, I just, I love it we become such fast friends. And... <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm doing everything in my power to oh. keep getting invited to your porch. Absolutely, and believe me, you will continue to be rewarded. <laughs> Here, more tea? Yes, please. Her eyes widen. As, uh, as Tilly pours the tea, a kind of, um, it appears when you look at it to be pulsing a little. It doesn't make any sense, but the liquid is pulsing. And as Francesca takes a sip, her eyes turn, they flash lavender for a moment. Mm. Yes, it's juniper. <laughs> Lovely, right? Yes, I could taste it. And something else. Your secret again, I suppose. Oh, of course. <laughs> you know I wouldn't leave you high and dry, my dear. Now, it's so sad what I've heard about that sister of yours. Oh, well, she's always been the black sheep of the family. <laughs> One can never <laughs> truly keep up with her <laughs> mishappenings, if you will. So interesting how she decided to move to the new end. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> when we know that all of the best architecture is in the old end, She's always been one for change, and she's clearly trying to shake things up. Mm. But I keep trying to convince her that if she doesn't stick with the family way, she'll end up another way. And we don't want that. She's my sister, after all. Seen? Seen? Yeah, <laughs> seen. <laughs> you can totally end there. I was going to say thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, that I think, was awesome. I think that That's went well. So cool. I think that went well for for Francesca. She's getting yes, in, I think getting so. in on Tilly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Uh, well, yeah, I guess so. I thought. Sorry, I totally thought that was Alex's scene. She was just man. I was enthralled. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you drank the tea. Yeah, she's like working in all these different objects and things, and I was like, this is sick. Uh, cool. Uh, Jess, yeah, I would say that went well for you. Jess, you get to give this die away. Who do you want to give this white die to? Give that to Tilly. Yeah, good choice. All good right. choice. Thank you. Uh, it is Tilly's turn. Tilly's turn. Okay. So, um, well, I believe it's about time that uh, Tilly and Ray <gasps> had a heart to heart. So, let's see. <clears throat> Tilly is sitting in her living room, which is pristine, very light pastel colors everywhere. And as the camera pushes in on her, she's just sitting on her little pastel pink couch, staring straightforward. 
Suddenly, there's a knock at the door. She gets up and goes to the door, places her perfectly manicured hand on the doorknob and opens it. Her sister Ray stands there. Ray is um, more, Ray does not uh, put on any airs. She, she has, she's darker in, in coloring. Her hair is darker, her eyes are darker, and uh, <laughs> you know, different than, than Tilly's, you know, perfectly dyed hair, obviously. And uh, that would be Tilly's natural color, that kind of dark raven brown. Sister, <laughs> so lovely of you to come. I did invite you. I'm just surprised you showed up, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> um, as 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 Ray walks in, she's carrying a bag with a um, a bottle of weed killer inside the bag, and she steps inside. Um, I hope you can. Can I come in? Uh, of course, please do. And I hope you kept those chemicals far from my lawn. Yes. Yes, I did. Well, <laughs> listen, you both know you don't like me, which is fine. It's fine. I've never been liked by you or dad or mom. Um, but How could you say that? You're my sister. To... Of course, I love you. And that's why I invited you over today, because I want to protect you. But did you have something to say? Yes. Um, and Ray goes to sit on the couch and she takes off what seems like a layer of skin. And oh. she sits on the couch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God, do you have oh. to do that right here in front of me? Oh. That's better. It's really hot in here, you know that. I hope you don't expect me, me to go naked, too. No, I don't expect your perfect image of reality. But let's just face it. <laughs> it just makes me feel comfortable, especially when I'm around humans all the time. It's quite depressing. It does look awfully comfortable. Oh, all right. And Tilly <laughs> basically takes a zipper that you can't really see when it, it's like underneath her her very large hair and also sheds her skin uh and beneath the skin we see a kind it's like a mix they're a mix of reptilian and uh, i'll get to the doorbell in just a second uh, they're a mix of reptilian and insect uh, mandibles, but with with this kind of scaly flesh on it. Oh God! I knew this would happen. As soon as I get comfy, I have to. This is just a moment. Oh God! And you put your skin on too, as she notices that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that Ray is kind of delaying. We don't want anyone to see, and puts it all on. Zip, 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 zip. <clears throat> Goes to the front door. <clears throat> And as she's, there's a mirror right beside the front door. As she's about to open it, she checks herself in the mirror and realizes that her mouth is is like this, it's down. And she goes, <laughs> <laughs> Then she opens the door. Spike is standing at the front door with a clipboard. Uh, letterhead <laughs> oh, and all. Not again. Uh, <laughs> and, and Spike says, uh, I, uh, Oh, I, look, I, uh, I'm sorry. I I don't believe we've ever met. Uh, my name is Spike, and he, he extends his hand for a handshake. Loser, <laughs> Spike. Uh, and he's sort of like taken taken aback at the uh, at the, the just the it. She's almost too pristine. Uh, like 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 so. Just, just like the, the like a glow. I'm sorry. What's your name? I know your character's last name is Poppleton. Tilly. 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 Uh, Tilly is like this, like, just gorgeous, like, perfect human. Uh, and he's sort of like taken aback and says, I, uh, well, it's nice to meet you, Tilly. Uh, you, 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 I don't believe you and I have ever met. Uh, you know, I am, uh, you know, the, 
I don't think so. I would have remembered. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, well, you know, I am the head of the standards committee uh, for- Oh, for... the new head of the HOA. Yes. Well, it's about time you came around. You know, my family has been close and dear friends with every HOA head since oh. the beginning of the new community. Well, I just thank you so much. I, I, do, I do so appreciate, I appreciate being a part of this community. You know, I love Poppleton Terrace. I think that there just is not a better place to be than, well, than the old end. The old end is just the cutest little thing that I've ever seen, you know? Uh, yes. Uh, but anyway, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. It's just, uh, well, there have been some complaints. I'm sorry. Are you are you are you busy right now? Is it is is is, is now a bad time? And Tilly looks back into and moves to the side to where you can see the parlor. Oh, do and I see? Do I see uh, Ray inside? You do. I do. Okay. Can I quickly ask um, just a quick physical description of Spike? Uh, Spike is, um, he's got like five o'clock shadow, uh, sort of like cherry, uh, you know, uh, strawberry blonde hair, uh, that's sort of like matted. He's wearing, uh, a button up shirt that has like a little stain on it, but he's like desperately tried to clean it a hundred times to, to get it to come out. Um, he has like, he has on a watch, like a an old Timex, let's say like a calculator watch. Um. <laughs> And he's wearing like uh, khaki pants that aren't pressed. He's like he's like trying desperately to look good, but he doesn't look like super put together. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do come in. Yes, it's my sister and I were just having a quick tea. Would you like some? Well. Oh I, please, I have it imported from India. I'm afraid that uh, now may not be the best time. Perhaps I could come back later. Uh, you see- Really? The... And she, she turns her head a bit, her eyes flash lavender into your eyes. And your well... eyes flash lavender. Scene. Scene. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well done. Was that- was that good? Uh, uh, thumbs that was a up. thumbs up thumbs for, up for yeah. Yeah, thumbs Tilly. Up for Alex. Thumbs up for Tilly. Okay. Thumbs up for Tilly. Uh, Tilly, you have a white die. Who would you like to give it away to? And thank you, Anonymous, for the doorbell. That was incredible. Yes. Yes. Uh, Tilly, you have this white die. Who do you want to give it to? Alex. Oh, me. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> I said I'm Tilly. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give the white die to Ray. Ray, great, great. And now it is Ray's turn. So Ray. you, you can either choose to continue a scene that's already happening, start a new one, and you can also say, I want this scene to end poorly or well for me, and we can tell you where we want to put you. Okay, um, I am gonna continue previous scene, the one with Ellie and, um, and, uh, Spike. 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 Spike yeah. and Tully. Um, okay. So, um, as Tilly is trying to get Spike to come in with her thing with her eyes, um, this, this makes Spike freeze for a second, so he's just standing there, but he's not conscious. So, um, Ray comes up to Tilly. <clears throat> he's the guy I was telling you about. Hmm. He's mm. average. <laughs> right. But, listen to me. He is always at my door, okay? Mm. He is just problem. This is gonna. This is gonna solve uh, our problem. Mm. It's gonna solve my problem, and uh, we can finally, finally, finish. What we've been always wanting to. Do. Well, you know that I'm glad to help you, sis. However, mm. and and you know that we have maintained community, uh, maintained control over this community with our 
special ways <laughs> for decades. <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing for me to mm. get him on our side. And in fact, it was going to happen eventually. But I just want you to know this shit you've been pulling, the writing in the lawns, the messiness in your house, you're going to give us away. It looks too much like home, okay? You have to maintain a certain order to things. You have to maintain a certain outward shell so that no one raises their eyebrows, all right? Spike, sit, and <laughs> points at him, and he sits. Stay. He just like sits down, but he's still holding the clipboard frozen from like the waist up. So, are you going to shape up, or do you want my help? Uh, first of all, we can just get rid of them, and that solves the problem. Whenever they get upset, you know, I, you know, I like change, so I like to just you know, move around. You Nobody ever notices. Like that. If, if we Fine, do that, do it'll raise the suspicions, and we don't want the National Guard coming down. For goodness sake. Right. Not again. Fine, I do want your help. So, uh, can we, can we, can we accept this guy? Take him? Mm. You think it's gonna work? And, um, Tilly looks him up and down. I think we'll be close friends. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> All right. Good job, ladies. Well done. Um, we gave a thumbs down, but it feels like it went well. For for Ray, because she got what she wanted, didn't she? Did she? I guess we could interpret it as like she kind of being forced to go along with Tilly instead of being able to just like uh, be loosey goosey. Maybe she gets what she wanted, but her getting what she wanted isn't a good thing. Mm. You know, I like I like that idea. Like, oh think, yeah, Ivana, do you think it went poorly <laughs> or well for your character? Um. Felt like it went well. Um, I got rid of Spike. I wanted. Yeah. But now I have to work with Tilly. So. <laughs> well. Um. Everything has a price. All right. We'll, so we'll, we'll give, give you, give you the, the black dye. Yeah. We'll give you the black dye. Uh, okay. All right. Give me a black dye. And Ray, you get to choose where this black dye goes. Oh right, right. Um. Anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Chris mm -hmm. and Rob yeah, yeah. both don't have die yet. Okay, so great. It's going to go to Spike. It's going to go to Spike. All right, I have a black die. And it's my turn. Okay, I know the scene that I want to do, but I don't know where I put it into the story. I don't know if I put it before what has happened or if I put it after what has happened and progress it even further. Ooh, whatever you do, we'll back you up. Yeah. Uh, all right, here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. Um, <laughs> I want to put it, uh, it's the next day, and uh, Spike has invited uh, Chuck over to his house. Um, and- Is this uh, after the garage incident too? This is after the garage incident okay. and after uh, and after Spike uh, went over to uh, Tilly's house with Ray. Um, so it is the next day and Spike has invited Chuck over to his house and uh, Spike's been feeling like weirdly like itchy most of the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's kind of like like antsy. You know, he's he, he feels off, yeah. And so he's like sitting in his living room and uh, he's watching The Price is Right because uh, it's his favorite show. Um, and he just can't like settle down. Uh, when he hears a he hears a knock at the door, uh, knock, knock, knock. And he, uh, he goes to answer the door and Chuck is there. And he says, uh, he looks to the right, he looks to the left and he grabs Chuck and he pulls him inside. He closes the door behind him. And he says, uh, he says, Chuck, I gotta ask you a question. Spike, 
I gotta tell you something. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was your question? You go first. Oh, uh, what? You, you you want me to go first? Okay, I'll go. Yeah, you, maybe maybe I'll answer your question with my with what I gotta tell you. Chuck, I gotta tell you. I gotta <laughs> tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. There's something going on in Poppleton Terrace. Yeah. Uh, Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> there's something going on in Poppleton Terrace. There and sure tell, is. There I tell sure you, is. I don't know. I don't know. You know, this neighborhood used to have standards. It used to have standards, and I, I just don't, I just don't know if I see it anymore, Chuck. I tell you, there's, there's something. Just I can't, I can't put my finger on it. But there's, there's something going on. What happened to you? What happened? To, what, what's, the, what's the thing that you that, 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 that you can? Just, Okay, so you know the things that you've been thinking, that you've been feeling? I think I know the source of them. I think it's that Francesca de la Vega oh. down the street. You, you know think... what happened yesterday? You know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. And I grab him by the collar and I pull him in close. And I say, she locked me in her garage with her evil demon kitty. And that was after I walked through her house. And I swear, I swear to you, Spike, I swear to you, the eyes were following me. There's something wrong about that lady, Francesca. And you, you... I double check. I start looking out windows. I say, you know, you know the, <clears throat> the plan that we got going on? I think, I think it's time that we installed the hot tub. He slams his, <laughs> he's, he slams his, uh, his, his hand over your mouth and says, uh, says we cannot... We can't talk about it here. And they like, and like, they shuffle into the into the garage. Uh, and in the garage, there's just a giant sheet over some large mechanism or whatever. Uh, and he says, uh, he takes his hand off and he says, "Chuck, wait, 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 wait. what are we doing? Wait, wait. Look, I tell you, I, 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 I went over. I went, I, I went over to Tilly Poppleton's house and." And uh -huh. Ray Poppleton, you know that 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 ne'er do well that lives yeah. over in that lives over yeah. in the new the new part of yeah. town. Mm -hmm, she, mm -hmm. she was there, and and then I I Chuck, I don't remember anything at all. I woke up and I was I I I, I was sitting on 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 the couch, and I was drinking. Uh, 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 what do you what do you call it? It's uh it, a it's kind of like, well no 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 it's more like a tea really <laughs> uh sort of like long tea. Yeah, it's like purpley but not green. Uh, it's juniper. It's Black. the one. Yeah, juniper. yeah. Juniper. Tea. Juniper. Yeah, it was a lavender tea, and I, I, I tell, I tell you, Chuck, I, I, I think you're right. I think we need wait, to wait. finish the. And he like. Do you think the Poppletons are also in on the plan, Chuck? I think we might be the only two in Poppleton Terrace who isn't in on it. Whatever it is. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Ever since we found this hot tub in the woods, I've been saying something's been going down. <laughs> and he's like, it's been going down. And he rips off the, the, the sheet cover and it reveals this, like, hot tub. <laughs> and... <laughs> It's like it's like a not a great hot tub. It's like it's like you know I don't know why we brought it back. To that. It's like a like an old time whirlpool. Uh, it ain't filled up. Uh, it's got a couple of leaves left in it. Um, and uh, and he says, "You think the hot tub's a part of all this?" Well, Chuck, I don't know. You tell me. And then I flip a switch that's on the side of the hot tub. And the hot tub, despite not being plugged into anything, starts making a <laughs> noise. And it starts to glow from the inside with a... It, a yes. It it's a lavender glow. glow. Inside. Yeah. The leaves start... The leaves, despite the hot tub rumbling and making these sounds, it looks like the leaves themselves aren't moving at all. Mm. You tell me if that's not part of it. He said... What? He, he says, oh, Chuck, you know what I think? What? I think you need to get your gun. I think we need to be, we need to be prepared for the worst, Chuck. You never know what could happen out here. Okay. Uh, now, Spike, that's a funny story that you're telling me about needing to get my gun. So, uh, uh, <laughs> ah, hmm. <laughs> that's why I went over to Francesca Della Vega's house yesterday, because I've been a suspected 
that she maybe stole uh, the gun. <clears throat> so you think they have your gun? Yes. Well, and maybe along we... with the uh, the special silencer I made for it. You get me? Oh you feel me? Oh my god. They have it. Well, Chuck, I think we gotta get it back. Well, I think that's what I tried to do. Let me tell you, I had to break down that garage door. Luckily, it was a piece of crap. Do you know what kind of model they had installed? They had the Rotator 60 installed into their garage. What kind Well, that just is not even up to standards, Chuck. It that is, is not allowed yeah. in this neighborhood. <laughs> I, 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 let me tell you, Spike, the next Homeowners Association, we gotta get Francesca De La Vega out of but here. But before but, but, we get... Before we get to that, yes, 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 yes. We need to get the gun first. Yes. Yes, we'll get the gun, then we'll get Francesca De La Vega evicted, and then we can do something about the Poppletons. Yes. Yes. I don't think it's in the garage, because that's where her freaky-deaky kitty was, and it, look at these scars it left me. And he pulls up his sleeves, and they're like... And, and you notice that these scratches strangely resemble eyeballs. Eyes. Eyes. Scene. Oh, eyeballs. Yeah. 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 Scene. Yeah. Get it off. Ooh, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, was that good? That was was good. that good for us? Yeah. yeah. Well, because we, 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 we have a plan. Yeah. 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 We have a plan. We have an idea of what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. Sharing info. Uh, I'm gonna give this white dye to Chuck. To Chuck. I like I like my new friend Chuck. Um, yeah. And so we're gonna do that. This has made an interesting turn. I did yeah. not think that that our relationship would be that we're not aliens. But I like this. Yeah. I like this a lot. Uh, all right. That is my second scene for Act One. And so next it's gonna be uh, Chris. It's gonna be Chuck's character. Okay. So I'm gonna continue from that scene. It is going to be that evening. The sun has just set. It's not quite like dark out, but it's like the last vestiges of sunlight are barely peeking up over the horizon. Uh, Chuck and Spike are at Francesca's, and Ch Chuck, having eyes on the garage, kind of gives it a little, <laughs> little heebie-jeebie shiver. And then he also notices that the hole that he had left in that garage door is no longer there. It seems to be pristine, as if nothing had happened to it. Mm. And Spike turns to Chuck and he says, I thought you said you broke out of the garage. That's the thing, Chuck. I mean, Spike, that Chuck is my name. I'm Chuck is your <laughs> name. I'm over there. Yeah. <laughs> Here is the thing, Spike. I did break out of the garage. Oh, we need to get that shotgun right now. Yeah. Uh, well, D, D. Chuck, you reckon she's home? I, 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 I don't know. I've never seen her leave. She doesn't, I don't mean to make stereotypes or anything, but she doesn't seem like the type of person who would go out and have a job. <laughs> yeah. I, and, and I reckon I have never seen her blink either. I mean, I was never looking for it, but I don't know if I ever have seen her blink. She's got a weird motif with eyes, man. I'm telling you. I mean, the, the scars. The scars. Yeah. Shh, shh, hide, hide. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> hop, hop, hop. Hey, like, ducks into the... And, and, and some, yeah, some emergency vehicles do go down the cul-de-sac, and they stomp at a house a little ways along along the way. And, and um... There's, like, fire trucks that are like, going. Yeah, fire trucks that are going on down the cul-de-sac, and just on the... On the um, far end, you, you, they kind of turn a corner. You see a faint glow in the distance. Ooh. Spike, do you reckon that's a fire in the distance? Oh, I, I, re I reckon we don't need to We don't need to be the ones finding out. We, we, we need to get inside this house. We need to get this gun. Okay, okay. I know that there's a shed out back. I have mm -hmm. no idea what type of security it has, but I know it's in the back. And look at this rinky-dinky fence. We could easily jump the fence in the back right. there. Let me, hold up, hold up. I got, I got an idea. I pick up like a nearby, the, the biggest rock I can find, so it's probably only like this big, and I just kind of chuck it at the front door, and I go, 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 to the back, to the back, to the back. And I run into the backyard. And I'm, I'm hiding against the, the side of the shed. We're doing the cronk from uh, Emperor's New Groove, just, 
eyes on the shit, Spike. You got eyes on the shit. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see the shit. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm holding it. I'm, I'm on the shit. Yeah. Oh, good call, good call, good call. Okay, now here's the, and I take a good look at this shed. Now it looks like just a regular wooden shed, except it seems to have eyes painted on the front above the door. Meanwhile, we, they're, they're breaking in and trying their hardest to get into this shed. And we see, we kind of, the camera moves up to a window on the side of the house. And we see Francesca not looking out the window, but sitting on her bed, her eyes wide open. And over her eyes, we can see what's happening down at the shed as if a movie is playing over them. There's and footsteps approaching. It's, it's the Thank eyes. Thank you to a mask. Thank you to a mask. It's all coming from the perspective of Chuck's arm where the scratches are. You Ooh. Can see what's happening. So are the footsteps the... are the footsteps at the shed or are the footsteps at the at the house? Uh, let's say the footsteps are at the house because we're at the house. So the... so Francesca is not alone in the house right now. Ooh. Wait, so so you're at the shed. You see Francesca in the house, and there are footsteps in the house, and you can see. I'm sorry, I had trouble following. What can you see above her head? So there's like a there's like a silhouette of Francesca that we see in the window, but we don't see anything that's going on inside Francesca's room. But in Francesca's room, you can like see, is it like her eyes are projecting like a projector screen? Like, if you're looking at her eyes, it's like they have a reflection and on that reflection is- oh. You're seeing everything that's on Like my eyes are playing arms. a TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's like, man. but there's also footsteps inside Francesca's house. So Francesca is not alone in her house. As the footsteps approach, you hear, Franny, the babies are hungry. And then it goes back to the shed. Back to the shed. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm futzing around with a lock. There's like a, there's like a makeshift padlock on there. Uh, well, I, but no, move, move, move out of the way, move out of the way. I got this. <laughs> and I, he, and Chuck pulls out a sledgehammer that he brought with him and it was just in his pocket. Don't worry about it. And you brought that the whole time? <laughs> yes, Chuck would. This what for emergencies. Now this is an emergency. And I just, in one fell swoop, bring it down onto the lock and bam! And bam. So the lock and the thing, it just And so he moves it and he opens the shed and he sees. I'll let Francesca describe her shed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what you see, um, I'm, so oh, I, I put I, my, I put my thumbs up because I want this to go well for you guys. What do you guys think before I describe this? What if what if we open the shed and inside is the hot tub? Oh! <laughs> the the same hot tub that was in your garage? The same hot tub. The same hot tub is like inside this shed. Only now it's covered in eyeballs, like like carvings of like eyeballs and stuff. Oh. I reach so over. And so I it's grab like a portal. Spike's shirt. <laughs> I'm like, Spike, what the hell is going on here? I don't know, Chuck. <laughs> I don't know. But I think we need to call the National Guard. I agree. And I look and to the same. side and I see leaning up against the hot tub, the shotgun with the specialty silencer taped off at the end. And I run inside to grab it. <clears throat> All right, Spike. What do we do now? Well, uh, uh, it's like it's it's getting dark out right now, um, and so I'm thinking, well, what, what, what where, where do you think is safer, your house or mine? Well, well, you got another hot tub at your place. We we should go to my house. I don't think I got another another hot tub at my place, Chuck. I think this is my hot tub. You think As this you is guys are talking, the you you can see out through the door of the shed, the front porch light turns on. <gasps> Scene. <gasps> Scene. Yeah. Well done. Uh, that went well for uh, for Chuck, probably because you got the shotgun, right? I got my shotgun. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. And now we have a mystery teleporting time machine or a teleporting hot tub machine. Yeah. Teleporting hot tub machine. Oh gosh. Uh, who do you want to give this die to, Chuck? I think I'll give this die to 
Alex. I'll give it to Tilly. Tilly. Tilly has two white die. Two white die. Uh, next up is Francesca. All right. I'm going to pull my mic a little closer to my face here. So the camera is on the men, swings around to that view of Francesca in the house, and slowly, like it follows slowly, zooms in. And as it does, you start to hear, this is what you've always wanted, this is what you've always wanted, yes, yes, yes. The children, the children, they're here. The children are coming. It's everything you've ever wanted. So close, so close, do it, do it faster, yes. Yes, she wants you to. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. You must. You have to do it. And it's slowly, slowly still zooming in on her. You can start to make out the details of what's on her eyes. And you see a child. She's about five years old. Looks like a little Francesca. She's smiling, laughing, playing. And it's as if time starts to rewind and she gets younger and younger until she's a baby in Francesca's arms. She's here, everything I've ever wanted. Yes, she gave it to you, she gave it to you. She'll give you everything. Do whatever she wants, she'll give you exactly what you want. It's okay, it's okay, I don't want to, I don't want to, it's too hard, I don't want to hurt anybody. No, it's okay, you can do it. Just do it. Be one of us. Be one of us. And uh, she <gasps> opens her eyes, looks forward, sees a shadow in her room, blinks confused, stares down at her where she's sitting on the edge of her bed, and she's pregnant, about six months pregnant. Scene. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so your mic cut out briefly. Were, were you saying, be one of us, be one of us? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Just making sure. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares. This you is could hear the whispering, weird. right? Yeah. Because yeah, I could so. barely hear it because I have my headphones on. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Uh, I didn't even give you a chance to give me a black or white die. Yeah. So what? I, what do you think? <laughs> I think probably Morley. black, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah probably black. black. Yeah. yeah, you you just became like you know, pregnant by a weird ghost baby. But it's what uh, I. But I will say it's what I wanted. It's what yes. you've always wanted. It's what you've always wanted. Oh, it is. But maybe you wanted it. Maybe it's what you want, but it's not what's good for you. Yes. You know? yes. 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 TBD. Uh, you get a black die. You get to give this away, Francesca. Who would you like to give this black die to? I'm gonna give it to you, Rob. All right. Spike's got two black die. Looking like some, looking like some good stuff might happen to Spike later on. Uh, next up is Tilly. 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 Okay. So. So Chuck and um, and Spike were still at the shed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. They were deciding what they wanted to do, and then uh, he he showed them the the scratches on his arm when they were trying to figure out where to go. And then the porch light came on, and we yeah. ended the scene right as the porch light came on. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Travis. We got the shotgun. Okay. Okay. So um, it's the next morning. And um, Tilly is walking. It's early morning, so Tilly has a cup of coffee, and she's wearing a smart pink robe. She's outside in her front lawn, standing, sipping her coffee, and looking across the street. We see a pile of ashes, pillars, and one large 
But all of the other walls and the rest of the house was burned down to the ground. Such a shame, she says. Later, we cut, we cut to a few hours later. She is dressed. She knocks on Ray's door. What is it? Elaborate. <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> Fine, I will. Oh God! And as she walks in, she there's just like stacks of newspaper and um, you know food around and stuff. And um, <laughs> didn't you used to have children here? <laughs> You, at least you told me what you did. They ask, they ask about your kids to me all the time. What's your story oh, there? Millie. <laughs> Millie Tilly is talking. Now you just have a dog. Uh, this is your new, your new semblance the, at normalcy. A dog. The sh shape shift, and it's fine. I just like the dog form better. So. Well, I don't blame you. He's, Human children are so grubby and sticky. They're always sticky. Anyway, um, right. Look, you said there was a problem. Yes, the nursery oh. is becoming overloaded. We don't have enough food for the larvae, and we're running out of people in the neighborhood. We need to uh, we need to do something fun to to attract people here. There was a freak fire last night, and 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 that's just going to bring the property values down even further. We need more neighbors, so I thought we could throw a block party. A block party. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a block party. Great plan. Thank you. I didn't expect you to be so gung ho, but I appreciate it. Oh, hang on. Did you hear that? I did hear that. And um, what? her eyes change to all black <gasps> as she. We we see we see the camera as her eyes change all black. We see the camera float from her eyes around the house and up and down in a kind of erratic, like a, like it's on the back of a bumblebee. And then position itself on this, there's like a, a wooden carved owl with two extremely realistic eyes in the hallway. It flashes into the owl's view from the eyes. Nothing there. It flashes onto a clock that has a woman with realistic eyes. Nothing there. And finally, we flash to another eye sculpture. That's this is this one is just like a geode that looks like an eye. That's facing toward um, Ray's back door area, and we see that that door is open. And there's like a uh, there's like a John Carpenter esque like half dog half person trying to like climb its way out the back door what? And down the patio what? Yeah. ray would you control your children please she's trying to get out and her eyes go back to white to regular and it's like it's like desperately trying to be like let me go <laughs> And like climb, like it's it's like struggling to move, like it's been like trapped for for weeks. I know you and, think that it's fun to have pets, but you have to take care of them. Tilly, do you know just what just happened? Go elaborate. <laughs> How long has this been happening? You're doing it again. You're, you're doing what? You did it again! Your eyes? Yes! Oh, well, I haven't gotten all the kinks yet, but I 
How else am I supposed to see what's going on through the eyes of, of the Watcher? I, I've had I Francesca setting eyes body. all over the neighborhood. Am I not going to use them? <laughs> but when you when you when you go into the vision and and you look into somebody else's, when you when you transport to the other eyes, mm -hmm. it does a freaky thing with you. And I think uh, you know it could be dangerous for the okay. block party. Okay. So you need to stop I won't doing do that. The block party. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Please get your chimera. <laughs> yes, and. Actually, my children, I, I want to tell you about uh, a new project I'm working on um, that I think you're going to like. Okay, just give me one moment, and and she <laughs> steps to the back door. If you're not going to take care of, the, of it, then I will. She steps to the back door and um, <laughs> opens her mouth. She, you see the chimera thing kind of like dragging itself away to the other, to, toward the fence. She opens her mouth and a big like tentacle thing comes out and like whips it and pulls it back inside <gasps> and shuts the door. And then she comes back to um, Ray. And meanwhile, the neighbors are like, he's like mowing his lawn with earplugs in. And he like <laughs> turns around and like sees another happening and goes right back to mowing the lawn. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> she comes back uh, to, to Ray's disgusting living room and she's like dabbing her off. You were saying? About the children, mm -hmm. I found a way to um, multiply them into humans. I mean, um, I mean, they, 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 it's sort of a, it's, it's in the new phase, but um, they're, they can become, become air and, and travel through, I'm still working out the kinks, but they can basically penetrate humans and um, impregnate them. And that way uh, we can have little, uh, little, uh, little human aliens, just like us. Um, just like mom and dad did. Interesting. The humans do have quite an, a strong sexual urge, and they're very easy to manipulate <laughs> in, this, in this area. Hmm. And that would be a lot more effective than our former experiments, as you can tell. The uh, the chimera thing is just like twitching on the floor, <laughs> like... <laughs> 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 I, I think it's a good plan. Here's what I think. We have the block party, and then you, being the little saucy minx you are, throw an after party just for the adults. And that's Ooh. where we'll get your plan in motion. Scene. Scene. Yep. Would you call a block party an assembly? Yeah, <laughs> I definitely would. Okay. I was so psyched for the block party. That sounds great. I know. As soon as you said that, we were all like, yes, we want you to succeed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, I love these sisters. It's so yeah. Cool. Uh, that was Alex's scene, right? Yes. What's it? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, so that's Tilly's scene. Tilly, who do you want to give this white dye to? Well, I feel bad for all the terrible things that we're doing to Jess, so I'm going to give it to <laughs> Francesca. Francesca. Okay. Oh, Francesca. Oh, yeah, but you're giving Francesca a closer to a zero, so that's going to end even worse for her. She now well, has that, one black is, die and one white die. No, this is just die. for the tilt. This is just for the tilt. Yes. Well, you're going to keep these die. Then, then you're oh. going to... Uh, we're going to... You're, the, next re the next act, you get to keep the die that end up coming to you. That's all right. Give it yeah. to me. But this will help to decide the tilt. That's true. I, I feel like Francesca may not get a happy ending to her story anyway. No, I'm, I'm gathering that aliens feel pretty OP in this, uh, in this <laughs> game right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, weakness. Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's uh -huh. a shotgun with a weird silencer on it. <laughs> <laughs> so direct. Okay. Yeah. All right, Savani, uh, you have the last scene of of the first act. Then we're gonna take a break, and then do our tilt and our second act when we get back. So, ooh. how do you want to round out this this first first act here? Okay. Um. You said it can it can be a it can be a scene by myself. Yeah. It can. Yes. Yeah. You can be another character too if you want to. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be myself. But okay. So it's the next the next night and um, uh, uh, Ray is walking in the woods and she's she's uh, she's sort of carrying this. 
um, contraption, this machine that's kind of like has the parts of a, of a hot tub, hot tub, and she's just <laughs> pulling it through the woods and she's carrying it with her and she, she sets it under this big tree that's got these hanging leaves and she sits inside the hot tub and she um, turns on the faucet but instead of water these these creatures come out and they're they're in, encircling her and she sort of goes in this trance and starts uh, starts to have a conversation with a being that we can't see mm. um, uh, and uh, yes uh, master uh, I finally got Tilly to I got Tilly to agree to my plan we're gonna see this uh, coming, but uh, but I think that uh, I got her to believe that um, I've got a contraption going that I can I can turn people into little creatures, which is such a dumb idea. But she bought it <laughs> completely, um, and um, and um, father, we're gonna do this. I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna be your child, the one you've always. Thought wasn't the best, but here I am. I'm gonna prove you wrong, and uh, I think it's time that Tilly left the family. Um, and we have a plan. We're going to have a, a party of some sorts of a, in the block. Uh, it's called a block party. Um, block and uh, party. <laughs> or she will be there, and so will uh, this girl, Francesca. I impregnated her. Um, wow. um, so, I just wanted to say, I'm ready. I'm ready to. I'm ready to do the thing. I'm ready to do it. And see. And see. All right, Act oh, One. I love it. I love it. The the. The the black sheep turning on on like her sister and like becoming the favorite is so cool. Yeah, that's so neat. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, so ready? You get that white die. Who do you want to give this white die to? Uh, I have to give it away. I'm gonna give it to who? Who has doesn't have one? Uh, everyone has a die. Uh, Alex currently has th two okay, white okay. die. I have two black. Chris has one white. I'm I'm gonna give it to Jessica. Give it to Jess. So Jess now has two white and one black. Okay. All right, and that is the end of Act One. What could possibly happen <laughs> in Act Two? Oh my, we have so much stuff happening, and we haven't even added a tilt yet. <laughs> yeah, right. What could yeah. Be? What could the tilt possibly be? Okay, so we're going to take a quick 10-minute break, and uh, we will be back for Act 2 and the Tilt, so stick around. We will see you soon. I'm going to go fire up the hot tub. <laughs>
Hello! Welcome back, everybody! Hello! Hello! We are back for Act 2 of Fiasco Home Invasion, and now we are choosing the tilt. Yeah! We are choosing the tilt, uh, and Alex and I have been the ones who have been selected to do the tilt on here. Uh, dice, dice gifting. <laughs> yes. Uh, Alex, would you like to do the broad category or the specific category? Uh, either way. Uh, can we see the categories? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, it is on the tilt table, which is on page 56 and 57, which okay. Jess has up on the screen here. Um, so I will go ahead and pick the broad one. Uh, and I'm going to say that I think that we should do... I think we should do failure. Okay. Um, Cause it seems like there's a lot of planning going on yeah. here. And I like the idea that plans don't go well, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Alex, go ahead and select what you want to be the, uh, the, the subcategory for our failure tilt. And do I need to go based on a certain die that we have, or I just choose one? Uh, you do, but all, we have all of the numbers here, except for four, I guess. I would say for the tilt, Last game, it worked out well to just pick what you like. Okay, yeah. Really. I normally let people pick whatever they want. Yeah. yeah. Stupid plan executed to perfection. Something precious is on fire. A tiny mistake leads to ruin. A good plan comes unraveled. You thought it was taken care of, but it wasn't. Fear leads to a fateful decision. Okay. So my my inclination are is to two different ones. I, I like a stupid plan executed to perfection because... We're already talking about a block party. Yeah. And trying to get the whole town to have an orgy, <laughs> which is pretty stupid. Um, and then we're also talking about um, what well, well, you thought it was taken care of, but it wasn't, which I think kind of refers more to Chuck and um, Spike. So I'm going to call, I'm going to go with one, a stupid plan executed to perfection. Okay. Love it. And Love anybody it. can take that and, and run with it. Yes, correct. Okay, cool. All right, so the beginning of Act 2 will start with Spike. Oh, you don't and... pick two? I'm sorry? You don't pick two? Uh, Normally, I only pick one. Do you oh, pick we we uh, we did it last game. Uh, I think it's in the rules that you each pick a, a top category, and then you swap and pick the subcategory. Oh, OK, well, let's do that then. Yeah, Alex, I think, I think more chaos a... is always better. You pick a top category then. Okay, uh, let's see. Mayhem, tragedy, innocence, paranoia, guilt. Um, <laughs> I think... I like mayhem. 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 Yes. Everyone likes a little bit of mayhem. Yeah. All right, under mayhem we have an out of control rampage a frantic chase, a dangerous animal, perhaps metaphorical, gets loose, magnificent self-destruction, <laughs> cold-blooded score settling, and misdirect pa misdirected passion. Ooh. 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 These are all great. I like magnificent self-destruction and cold-blooded score settling. I um, like misdirected passion. Misdirected passion. And a dangerous animal gets loose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like all those. I was thinking of that too. I'm thinking of that weird, that weird Cronenberg-esque thing that we got going on, yeah. Uh, let's do a dangerous animal, perhaps metaphorical, gets loose. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, so we have a, we have a stupid plan executed to perfection and a dangerous animal, perhaps metaphorical, gets loose. Yes. Now these could be true of like multiple scenes. Uh, anybody can use any of these tilts throughout throughout the entirety of the, the remainder of the game. The only difference in act two from act one is that in act two, you get the dice that you get, you keep. Um, so if a scene goes badly for you, you keep that black die. Or if a scene goes good for you, you keep that white die. And unfortunately, we only have four white die and we have six black die. So most of our scenes have to end badly. Uh, as is Fiasco, though. 
Um, and Alex, can you do me a favor and switch over the sound alerts for the second act? Yeah, absolutely, because the second act is a different banana, <laughs> mm-hmm. as they say. They do say do that. Do they say that? In Tippleton, they do say it's that. It's a different banana. You in know. Poppleton. In, in Poppleton, it's, yeah. Sorry, I'm not doing I'm not doing a great job at yes anding. Yes, they do say that. <laughs> yes, yes, and. And I would love that different banana split. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Boy, those bananas in Poppleton sure are different. All right. Okay, so Here we, we have the. I want to just quickly go over the sound alerts for this. We have slow footsteps, an I see you voice, which is very creepy, especially if you're wearing headphones. A townwide emergency siren, which is also very creepy. A couple alien sounds, a lot of alien sounds, banging in a vent, a screaming woman, an alien baby. Oh my god, so many things. Oh, set up for so many things, a UFO off. taking off. <gasps> Amazing. Creepy. Cool. All right. All right, Act so two. I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off. Act two, we're gonna open with Spike. Uh, it, is the de- it is the following day. Spike and Chuck end up escaping from the backyard of, of Francesca. Uh, they make it back to, to Spike's house and uh, they open the, the garage, run inside, and slam the garage back down. And they turn around, and what do they see? But a giant space in the garage that is empty, where there's like there's like dust on the ground in the line of like the hot tub. Hot tub is gone. Um, no longer in Chuck's garage. And he, or in, in Spike's garage. And he turns to Chuck and he says, Chuck, I knew it. I knew that was my hot tub. Our <laughs> hot tub. The, the hot tub. The hot tub, yes. I, what, what does this mean, Spack? I don't, I don't know. Nothing makes sense anymore. We used to have standards, and nothing, nothing is making sense anymore. Nobody's following the rules, man. And then, uh, and then, uh, Chuck's, uh, Spike's wife comes in, and she's like, I see you. Do you, do you hear that? <laughs> and then, uh, Spack? Spike's wife, did you hear that? She, and Spike's wife is like, she's like rolling her eyes. She's like, whatever. They they brought this over. Her name and she, is Patricia. Let's just. Her name is, her name is Patricia. Uh, Patricia hands him a flyer for uh, for like the neighborhood um, uh, what is it, the block party, uh, and it's like, come out, meet your neighbors, have a great time, blah 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 blah. And he says, block party, it's perfect. And Wait, he she the didn't flyer. hear the ICU voice. I think that uh, 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 Chuck and um, uh, Chuck and Spike heard it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna. Y'all were too casual about that voice appearing in your head. Yeah, well, I was Chuck gonna say. Spike heard it, and and when when he heard it, uh, when they heard it, Chuck, his arm just pulses with pain. Yeah. He, he's trying to cover it as best he can, so. So as not to upset Patricia, <laughs> and uh, and Spike, it heard the voice and sees what's happening to to Chuck, and is like <clears throat> also trying to cover. Uh, and he's talking to Patricia, but just trying to get her out of there as quickly as possible. Honey, what okay, Patricia, honey, dear? Yeah, well, could could you give to... Spike and I a moment? Oh, yeah, sure. we're uh, we're just talking about. Mama, um, you know, where's Daddy going? Association stuff. Oh. Uh, Honey, Where's don't, Daddy going? Don't coming into the garage. Don't come into the garage. Daddy, where are you oh. going? Oh, hi, sweetie. Oh, we're not we're not going anywhere. We're staying right here. It's uh. uh, uh Patricia, what? Patricia, can you, Why is he crying? Can you take the little ones and and maybe you know uh, sure. give give us some space? Mister, why are you crying? Chuck, do you want an ibuprofen? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. You go. You go. You go do your thing. And then he doubles over into the corner, <laughs> going, "I'm fine." <laughs> and and uh, she she grabs Spike's arm just like tenderly and says, "You really have to help that man. He he has a problem. Okay, but okay, just just help him." Yeah. Patricia, I saw that. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, we'll see you at the block party Saturday. Bye. <laughs> Bye. The the door closes. He turns back to he turns back to Chuck and drops the flyer and he goes, "What's wrong with you?" I don't know. And then he uh, rips his sleeve up and the three eyes in the scars are pulsating and he's like, I think it was that! Do and you the, have sharp object? <laughs> he, he like he starts shuffling through his tools and he like pulls out like a pair of like garden shears. That's fine! <laughs> and I grab what? it and I start to 
stab it into <gasps> the scar, into what? the scratches oh here, trying to cut the eyes oh right my down God. the middle. Oh my God, Chuck, <laughs> what are you doing? And wow. once he finally severs through all three eyes so that they no longer like <laughs> are solid the way, eyes, they're what? Like, they, they have <laughs> they have turned into actual eyes at this point. That those oh those to totally black eyes like Tilly had had before. So they they were actually like physical mm. eyeballs that are totally black. And he's stabbing them. To, once to I them. once I stab them enough, I reach into the arm and pluck out each <laughs> black eyeball, ripping what looks like it could be like an optic nerve as I pull. Oh, ah! oh god, I think I'm gonna be sick. And then Spike starts like yakking in the corner. He's like, he can't control himself. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Chuck is uh, standing there bleeding profusely from his arm. Uh, he he like we have a ibuprofen. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yes, we have ibuprofen. I, I'll get it. To, I'll get it for you in a moment. And he like shuffles through. Uh, he, he has like a first aid kit in the shed or in like the garage with all his tools and shit. He pulls out and first aid kit and he while, begins like bandaging up the arm. While he's bandaging Chris's arm, he starts to hear a little voice. You're helping him. You shouldn't be helping him. You should be hurting him. You should be taking things away from him. You should be making life worse for him. Take away. Take away. You want to. We'll give you everything you want. Everything you want. You'll never want again. You'll never need again. Your family will be the best, the best condition that ever, ever, ever you imagine. They start to like... And as he hears this, his his hands like slowly creeping over towards the shotgun uh, that's like leaning against the garage. Do um, it, do it, do it, just shoot it, shoot it, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Put him out of his misery. It's what he wants. It's what he wants. It's what he You'll wants. be so rich. You'll hey, be so Chuck, rich. Can you, 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 you hand me my shotgun real quick? Do it. Uh, it, yeah, yeah. And, and he like, he like snaps out of it. He's like, wait, wait, I, yeah. It, uh, I'm sorry. I, I just, yeah. Here you go. And he like, he like passes it off, uh, over to you. Thanks. And, he like turns around and like is like standing, not looking at you, and he's like, "What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on?" What? Uh, yeah, Spike. That that's a question I'd like to ask. What the fuck is going on? We hear a voice. There are eyeballs in my arms. What, are you okay? What are you doing? I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. I just. I just. We. We. T t you know. Chuck, we need. We need a plan. We need and a plan. Scene. And I cock the shotgun. Yeah, yeah scene. scene. Nice. Yeah. That Ooh. went poorly yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah. So I would pick one of these black die, and then it is uh, uh, Chuck's turn. Chuck's turn. Question: Is that was that after we escaped from the shed? Yes. Okay. So, uh, wasn't the um, was the block party planned the day after the shed where Tilly? was ruminating about the burned down house and invited Ray over? Uh, the, the block party was planned in the exact right timing to make this work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. All right. I'm assuming the block party's happening like tonight or something. Probably, yeah. 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 Um, okay, well, I, so. I imagine, yeah, okay, cool. The, the block party goes on during the day. It's like outside mm -hmm. during the day. But then the, okay. there's the adult block party at night. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, right. Uh, we'll There's say that two. The flyer says that the block party is like tomorrow so that the <laughs> they have enough time to get give the flyer out and be like, hey, come to this tomorrow. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, what's it? Patricia said Saturday. Saturday. I also, okay. I also wanted, the back, of the, uh, I wanted okay. the back of the flyer to say, I'm watching you. Like I wanted to drop it Ooh. in the camera to see it, but for the but for them not to notice it. Yeah. Mm. Like it was Great. written on their hands. Like it was written on there and he didn't yeah. and they didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all right, uh, it's your turn, Chuck. All right, so. <clears throat> Chuck, uh, will continue uh, a little bit later from the scene. Uh, Chuck is in the woods. He's gone over to the location of the block party. So he's gone over to Tilly's house. Uh, he's got binoculars. He's in a ghillie suit. He is ready to do some recon. <laughs> And so Chuck, he's sitting there, he's got his binoculars on, he's going here, he pulls out his walkie-talkie, he goes, 
Spike, do you copy? Over. This is Spike calling from the the. Uh, this is Red Eagle uh, from the from the Oldsmobile. Over. <laughs> this is Wild Hog calling from location. Good to hear you, Red Eagle. Over. <laughs> Having a hard time focusing that binocular there. <laughs> what are you? Uh, what, 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 are you what are you seeing out there, Wild Hog? Over. <laughs> Well, it, it appears to just be a house. I, I know, I know, I know. I saw, I saw Tilly and Ray earlier entering into the residence. I have no idea what they're talking about. It looks like you remember those fire trucks from yesterday. Over. <laughs> Wild hog, please, please remember to say over whenever you're done. I, I remember that the last second. Over. <laughs> uh, I do remember them fire trucks. Uh, uh, do, do you reckon, it, it, this is going to sound crazy, do you think we could get inside Tilly's house under the guise of the block party? Over. I reckon we can't, oh, wait, 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 something's happening. Oh, I see the back door opening up. I see, dear Lord, what <laughs> in God's name is that? And, ju and he sees the back door creak open, and he sees this weird, weird, like, person, but also kind of like this dog figure just start to crawl out of the back door. And I'm just like, oh my god. And e j even seconds later, he sees a tentacle <laughs> reach out the back, grab the, the thing, rape it back inside, slam the door. Holy shit. Red Eagle, we got a problem. I'm heading back to you over. Got it. And then uh the skirt like a fucking Oldsmobile peels out and like comes over to the, the part of the of the woods for you to for you to hop in. And he uh, said I hop in and I grab Spike by the collar and I say, We can't wait for the block party. We gotta get in there now And he said and he looks at you and he says that plan is so stupid, it would have to go <laughs> off perfectly in order for us to be able to pull it off. Okay, here's what I think. I think we need to hop <clears throat> over the fence. We need to bust into that house, and we need to ask them what the heck is going on at gunpoint. You got it. Over. And then they <laughs> go, the, and they immediately drive over to... Uh, <laughs> Chuck kind of goes puzzlingly, you know we're in person, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sometimes I just get in the character. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get See. you. I get you. I get you. <laughs> See. All right. Okay. All right. So, Chris, you get a white die there. Ooh. For that ending well for you. Uh, next up is Francesca de la Vega. Okay. So, we find Francesca at Ray's house and... Uh, she now appears to be fully, fully pregnant. Nine months pregnant. And she is just glowing. Glowing with almost a lavenderish, sparkling glow. Uh, and and uh, she's seated in Ray's living room, sipping on some tea once again. It's so kind of you to call on me and ask how I'm doing. It's just a miracle. Call me Mary Magdalene. <laughs> I can't I can't hear you, dear. Could you come into the room? <laughs> I still can't hear you, dear. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Just just So, uh Ray Ray embarrassedly um she like is clearing her throat, but no sound is coming out, but it looks like she's clearing her throat. And she um, goes back into the back room and um, rips off her throat area and like <laughs> adjusts the emulator that, it, that makes her sound human. And she's like messing with it hurriedly, trying to fix it in time for, to, to actually respond. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll be just fine over here, just drinking my tea. You know, this is quite the miracle. I've always wanted a child. And suddenly, um, suddenly she, uh, who is she? <laughs> oh, um, <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> what? <Yeah>, suddenly, <laughs> <laughs> suddenly Fran gave birth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's happening! Ray! 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 Ray
Batman thing, it also suddenly something flashes before her eyes and she she feels as if her eyes are being stabbed as at the same time um, Chuck is stabbing out the eyes on his arm. So she's not only had the pain of childbirth, but also she realizes she can't see into Chuck's vision anymore. So she she comes back from that and then suddenly and, and then looks down between her legs and sees an infant that has six legs greenish pink reptilian baby skin and mandibles giant big eyes and then a regular like baby head and it's going <laughs> that sound that and Francesca can't help but pick it up she's horrified but she also feels overwhelming love and a sense of protection for this freak of nature it's uh. it's beautiful I have to tell Chuck about our beautiful baby child. And she r wraps it up in one of her various scarves and uh, h heads out of Ray's home. Uh, honey, honey, I'll have to call on you another time. Sort of like mops up the blood that's streaming down her legs with her, her skirt. Uh, walks out of, out of the house looking like insane. She's blood is everywhere. She has a, an alien child that's dripping down her chest, and she uh, calls out for Chuck. Chuck! Chuck! Our baby is here! Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile there is, they're in the middle of a giant block party. Everyone <laughs> in the neighborhood is like in the street, like having a fucking barbecue, and Francesca walks out carrying this monstrosity covered in like yeah dead baby and, and um, uh, uh tilly is serving lavender food lavender cupcakes lavender cake pops and uh, she sees as she's serving some she sees francesca running with the baby and she, she um says excuse me and runs directly to ray's house <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, Rob. Go ahead. What were you, what were you saying? Uh, and in, in in like while this is while this is all happening, uh, Patricia turns around and sees Francesca oh. holding this like nightmare child, and yes, lets out like this, just like the best like horror scream queen scream ever. Uh, and the, all of a sudden, it's just fucking mayhem, like bodies running in all directions. Uh, somebody like runs past Francesca and bumps Francesca, and Francesca uh, is like loses grip of the uh, the, the the alien baby. Whoa! Ah! The baby! Ah, no! And scene. <laughs> scene before it lands on the ground. <laughs> yeah, right before it lands, oh, it like lands on the ground, and then you see it like 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 lock eyes with a child. There's like a five, there's like a little five-year-old child like- Yeah, it lands on a, all six of its like legs and sort of, shit. it looks up like- Oh God. And the kid looks at it and goes, and, and the baby goes, <laughs> so, Lilo and Stitch yeah. style. Oh my God. The kid's like, huh? <laughs> Uh, oh man, Jess, you got a black oh, dye there. Oh, wait, is that, was that Bonnie? Can I hear that you? That was your scene, wasn't it? No, 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 I'm asking yeah, if uh... that's me. That's Yay, me. she's back. Uh, yes, I, I want to mention back. something. You see, okay, I'll, I'll do it later. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're back, Bonnie. <laughs> uh, Jess, you got a black dye there. Um, black I, dye? I Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I lost audio there. Um, the, the baby was born in my house, and um, what happened there? Was Tilly there? <laughs> no. Tilly, Tilly wasn't there, but but I'm about to continue that scene, so if you just want to pick it up with me while I do it. Great, so she, she okay, great. Cool, okay. The baby was born in your house. She couldn't, she couldn't find you. And then 
she went out to the block party okay. uh, to meet her significant other, I think. I, and I the think baby got loose. And... and the baby got loose and is now loose in the neighborhood. Francesca's yeah. under the impression. Yeah, well, Francesca locked Chuck in her garage and forgot and, and couldn't remember anything that happened between that and her pregnancy. So she's convinced that somehow oh, she thinks that the, the somehow dad. the aliens oh. got her to yes. trap Chuck wow. to get her her desired baby. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Okay, so you got a black dye? Okay. Did you give it to somebody yet? Or? Uh, I keep no, it. you keep it in Act 2. Oh, you keep it? Okay. And it is Alex's turn. Okay. Tilly's turn. So we open on frantic camera movements as Tilly beelines it to the to Ray's house. Now you you'll notice in the background as Tilly is making her way over there with a very serious expression, only about ten percent of, or I'd say maybe twenty percent of the party goers are freaking out and frantically running away. The others are just munching on the food, the lavender food that Tilly has been giving out. And they're just so engrossed in how delicious this cupcake is and oh, this cake pop is the best thing I've ever tasted. They don't even notice anything that's happening around them. Totally engrossed. So Tilly marches into Ray's house, busts down the door. Ray, Rachel. You could not tell me she was going into labor. You know I need that afterbirth for my beauty. And she walks, she stomps through, sees the afterbirth on the floor. <gasps> oh God. And oh! rips her little, you know, zipper thing off and then sticks her tentacle out. And it's also a proboscis, proboscis. And, uh, <laughs> and it's like, Slip, slurping up all the growth <laughs> slime all from the floor. Uh, while that happens, Ray walks in and it's like re, re situating her voice box. Uh, um, don't worry, I, I saved you some of the afterbirth. Oh, thank you. I'm starting to get crow's feet. <laughs> she sits back up. Oh, so, what happened? Good. It's just all, all at once. You know, sometimes the timelines get get confused, and so she gave birth a little bit earlier than planned. But I uh, managed to get um, everybody outside a food I prepared. They were liking it. It's a huge hit. I must say, you've done quite well, despite all of the efforts to the contrary. <laughs> I'm I believe that. Uh... Well, first of all, the mishap of her running out in front of everyone wasn't the best. It would have been nice of you to stop her. We lost a few, mm -hmm. but we still have, uh, I'd say, the better half left. So we better, uh, the sun is going to go down soon. We better start transitioning into my home <laughs> for the big event. <laughs> I think so, um, and um, I think we no longer are going to need to be in our human form for mm -hmm. this part of the plan. I, um, I and agree, so, but... uh, she tears open her skin. Yes? Well, I was going to say I agree, but you know, and I know how much you love to be in your birthday suit, but shouldn't we get them in the house <laughs> first? Right now, they're still all outside. And then we can reveal ourselves. Oh, all right. right. Yeah. Oh, all right. Um, okay. <laughs> I will wait just a little longer. You know how eager I am. You know you get itchy um, in that suit. Yeah, so puts the suit back on. I rather um, like mine. And she we go and the after party? Let's go. And they walk out the front. You And you see kind of a, a montage of them talking to people, schmoozing, handing off more drinks, ushering people into Tilly's home, and then the door closes behind and you hear a lock. And like, it's a it's a big chunk lock, like <laughs> not something that would normally be on that door. It sounds like there's some other technology there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And scene. Scene. And scene. Nice. I, good, I would say good for you guys. Yeah, right? yeah, I think yeah. so. 
All right, Alex has nothing but white dye. <laughs> things are things are coming up, Alex. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Really gets it done. <laughs> uh, and now it is Ray's scene. Ray's scene. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, wow. Okay, uh, we're going to continue into the scene. Um, so, uh, right, we open into the after party where um, Ray and Tilly have managed to get everybody including um, Francesca and the little baby that got away. Uh, but now uh, Ray is holding the, the little monster baby and she's stroking it. Um, like, like Are the people child. freaking out or are the people like totally into it? I, I said, are so the, the people the, freaking the people out or are the people... Are, oh, okay. Right, right. So, so the, the people are, the people are in, in a party mood. So they're, they're still, there's, there's alcohol everywhere, so they don't know really what's going on yet. Um, but um, but um, Ray stands on the couch and sort of raises the baby, and and that's when everybody goes quiet and everybody's just looking um, at them. And Ray says, um, "Things are changing here mm -hmm. uh, at um, Pepper Popperton Poppleton at the Poppleton Terrace, and, and um, we wanted to thank you all for being here. Um, and we thought we would throw a party you would never forget. Um, Ellie, would you like to introduce our guests? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you. Everyone, Ray. And the people kind of like <laughs> mindlessly throw their hands together. They're, they're not working their bodies. We're kind of making a Party. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for being here tonight. We are about to embark on something beautiful, natural, ancient, and in fact, I like talking with an active audience. Why don't you go ahead and get started? And she looks across the crowd into their eyes, people's eyes start shining lavender, and then they turn to each other, and neighbors start making out with neighbors. They, Each person couples up, starts grabbing, kissing, touching, groping. It gets real gross real fast. It's a giant purple orgy going on. And, yeah. uh, Ray, I think as you said now. Thank you, everyone. You are all so, such great party guests. I, I love how you're all game. You're all participating. <laughs> it, it means so much. Blog <laughs> party. And now it's <laughs> party. As you're talking. Um, now, Ray said earlier, I was going to introduce you to our main guest, and I think now is the time. Mm -hmm. Papa. And with that, the house kind of rumbles. And suddenly in the living room, a old school jacuzzi appears in the middle, right in front of the front door. And in it is like the biggest version of the reptilian insectoid creature like a big fat chunk it's like version. job of the hut big like, yes. so of the of the alien hard. baby and yeah. no and this and and it's like loud in the, the third hot tub and we just hear <laughs> ladies and gentlemen the founder of poppleton terrace our father james p poppleton <laughs> 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 Yeah, they all stop having sex for a second and end the plot. <laughs> Just for a second. <laughs> well, some I, th I thought some people were gonna say something for a second, so please, if you were going to. Is is Chuck and uh, Spike there? Oh, I is my scene the next scene? Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna set up what. what okay, okay, Chuck just wondering. Okay. Yeah. okay, 
Uh, that could be seen. Be there, That's though. seen. I mean, yeah, actually, you know, I, I can just, I'll justify that right now. As everybody is um, applauding, we, uh, <laughs> we hear, or we, we zoom into the keyhole of the coat closet that's near the door, <laughs> and both Chuck and Spike are crammed <laughs> in there, just like trying as best they can to see what's happening. Yes. They, they uh, hid in the house and have not had a chance to do their plan yet. So they're yes. just gonna come up and they give each other a look and then see. Nice. Scene. Love it. All right, Love so how did it. that go for Ray? Uh, she got her alien baby, right? Yeah, she got her mm -hmm. alien baby. Uh -huh. But who? Is, that's not daddy, is it? The alien in the hot tub? Uh, well, her plan is going well, because she set this all up, um, you know, to uh -huh. somehow turn the tables on um, on Tilly. But so far, it's working, and but Til Tilly thinks she's on top, but mm -hmm. we don't know. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Let's so she gets a white dye. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're running out of white dye. We only have white dye left. Are we we like have one, one <laughs> scene that can end well and four scenes Woof. that are going to end badly <clears throat> okay. for our characters. Um, so uh, I have the next scene. This is the last scene, so we have one more round. Everyone gets one scene, uh, and then we're going to do the epilogue. And so my scene is going to be uh, interior Tilly's house, right before they brought everybody in. Uh, uh, Red Eagle and Wild Hog kick down the front door. Uh, it's not locked. It's like, it's what, like because they hadn't shown up yet. So they kick open the front door and they look around. Uh, uh, Chuck has, like, or Spike has like a stick or something, like whatever he could find, but like Chuck has the shotgun. Um, they enter the house. There's nothing to be seen, but the house is weird. It's like all pastels or whatever. Uh, it looks really pristine, except for like a creepy owl that's like sitting on the mantle. Um, and they're searching the house and Tilly's not to be found. And they go upstairs and they open Tilly's closet and they see just like a bunch of Tilly skin suits hanging on, on hangers. And uh, they like look around and then like hanging over Tilly's bed is like a fucking spear, like a space spear or whatever. Like some, some Dope ass like space like spear. yeah some dope ass like alien space spear or whatever, oh and so uh uh Spike grabs the spear, and <laughs> then they start to hear noises outside like everyone's shuffling in. <gasps> your spear, your spear's doing some weird shit, man. He's like, I know, I know, I can, I can feel it. It's, it's, it's. This, 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 this is, this isn't from here. This isn't from here, Chuck. This is, this is some, this is some. Uh, uh, some alien, uh, s s s some artifact. Uh, you I see, you see, like purple veins start to crawl up Spike's arm from where he's touching the spear, and like Spike can't let go of the spear now. Like, and you, like, he, you hear like, whispering, hands. everything you've ever wanted, everything you've ever wanted, just do it. And then he's like, his, his, his eyes like go back. Uh, he's like stuck into it, his brain, and he keeps wanted, like looking at. He's looking at the hot tub, and all he sees is just the hot tub, and he hears this like voice emanating from the hot tub, like everything you ever wanted, everything you ever wanted. You Spike, you gotta drop it. Spike, you gotta drop it right now. I can't let it go. Thank Chuck, you, Dungeon Run Yay. And then right as they hear it, uh, right as they are uh, talking about letting it go, they. Oh, that's what he hears. This is what he hears. This is what he hears. Yes. And then, like, they hear, like, the shuffling of people going through the front yard, and they run downstairs and get into the closet. And they're looking through the little keyhole in the closet, and they see the whole, uh, seance, or whatever the fuck we're doing, uh, <laughs> <happen>. orgy? Uh, <laughs> yeah. John of the Hutt shows up inside You know when you see tub. it. And, um, and, uh, what, what did Tilly say? She's like, and everybody meet James T. Poppleton. And just as and just as everyone's a clapping, uh, Chuck and Spike kick down the the uh, the closet and they appear oh. in the hallway. Can I can I retcon something real quick? Like right yes. before they kick it down, you see James T. Poppleton, the big old bug lizard thing, bring out his tentacle 
and it divides into a lot of different tentacles and starts yeah. to go toward all of the people who are um, in the orgy and looks like it's trying to get into their pants area. And yeah. <laughs> boom, when you, yeah. We, you kick down the door and uh, Chuck and Spike are standing in the hallway, one with a spear that's like veined onto his hands and the other <laughs> one with a shotgun. And Spike says, we've got standards here. <laughs> and then runs towards James T. Poppleton and uh, and like thrusts the spear at him. Tilly, what at happens? At the same time, Chuck pulls the trigger and watches the <laughs> at the tongue that's spreading into like 800 different tongues at the people. It, it busts open and, and James T. Poppleton he started Daddy. flailing and I, uh, I lodged the spear into his side, but he's, like, super fucking fat, and it doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, and I, I pull it back, and I turn it around, and I look towards Tilly, and I, uh, I start to walk towards her to, to, to run her through as well. Spike, Spike, think about what you're doing. <laughs> Don't you enjoy being the head of the uh, council of the houses? The, the House of Homeowners Association? Don't you love that? I do. <laughs> It's, it's all the power you've ever wanted. And then flash of, of lavender. Scene. And then it's like a flashback. Scene. 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 Yeah. Scene. Scene. Uh. <laughs> Holy moly. I, I, I was, well I could not us. even have voted. I was so engrossed in that scene. <laughs> <laughs> I think that went well for us. Yeah. Yeah. So as I well think, as it could have gone. I think you have to take the final good I do, guy. which means nothing but bad things can happen. Oh Great. my Excellent. god. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, I <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. So Chuck, uh following obviously immediately after that, after he blows this tongue of this creature off and he sees uh he sees Spike run James T. Poppleton through with the spear, but doesn't seem to do much. He pulls it out, he turns towards Tilly, he advances upon Tilly, but Tilly's eyes then flash lavender, and Spike turns, his eyes completely glossed over, and points the spear at Chuck. Spike, said, Spike, what are you doing? I love Poppleton Terrace. Spike, <laughs> it's what, Spike, no. <laughs> Spike, fight it! Spike, I don't know what's going on. You gotta find it. Spike, he's like, no he's, like rules, he's trying to fight it, but he just slowly trudges one step forward after Spike, the next. This, this, Patricia, this the Chuck's Chuck's wife, this. Patricia, is, is standing next to Chuck, but unfortunately, she just looks like this. Yeah, she's like super. Yeah, <laughs> Patricia, Patricia, you gotta snap him out of it. <laughs> he says. She starts making town. out with another neighbor. The old no. town is still. <laughs> <laughs> Spike's kind of into it. He's like a lawyer or whatever. Uh, <laughs> he's like, uh, he's like slowly trudging forward, and he says, "Like the old town, she's so cute." And I keep like walking forward. This this spear, and, and you can see it's like glistening. How like how like sharp and it's it is, pulsating. The veins yeah. have gone further and further up his arms. They've interlocked across his chest. <laughs> it almost it's almost like he's just like become one with the spear. Yeah. Chuck has to cock his gun once more. He goes, man, they're breaking all the regulations with this one. <laughs> and he pulls the trigger and he watches as the buckshot passes through the homemade silencer. The silently. silencer. So silently. It's so silently. <laughs> yeah. All sound leaves as you just see the buckshot slow mo mm. leaving the shotgun. And then you just see it pass through. Uh, uh, Chuck, Chuck's chest, it goes through his neck, it pierces, it pierces around. All the buckshot that hits the spear falls to the ground, but the rest of it has gone through Ch uh, Spike, sorry, Spike completely as he, as he, uh, drops to the ground. Still alive, still breathing, but, uh, he, mm -mm, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Chuck is weeping, going... <laughs> You did this! You did this! And, and as he's weeping, um, um, uh, Tilly, take, her hand has transported, trans, uh, muted into Formed? a claw, thank you, transformed, <laughs> yeah. into a claw, like, you know, the claws that they have, and she 
knocks Chuck out Blah. and turns to turns to Ray and says, "Was this your plan all along?" He's got a little out of hand, and uh, <laughs> and I wasn't planning on uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> These two, this spike, it's Spike's fault. He's, he's always, he's always just coming in here. And, and now Daddy's dead, and um, and I don't know. And I, you know, I was supposed to please him, and um, but I think that we can still um, get away with this. Uh, you know, I think that we can. We um, tie him up and see. Scene. 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 Okay. All right. Well, that definitely did not that, end well for yeah. Chuck. Nope. Yeah. All right, and it is Francesca's oh. turn. Francesca's oh, last turn. Boy, oh boy, what a Whoa. mess we've made. Boy, Ooh. it's oh. gonna take a lot to clean out these rugs. <laughs> uh, huh? It, okay. It's stained with you don't even know what. <laughs> so oh. Tilly's at this party. She must be. Her child is there. Um, Francesca. Yeah. Yeah, Francesca. Oh, sorry. Did I say Tilly? Francesca, yeah. Um, and when this spear is rammed through the body of uh, what's his name? A alien, James, alien. James T. Poppleton. James T. Poppleton. James T. Poppleton. Thank you for that cheer change box. Cheer. Uh, something changes in Francesca. It's almost as if. The hold that was put upon her has been broken, and she <sighs> looks up. <sighs> She's scared. <sighs> Everything around her doesn't make any sense. <gasps> oh my god, what is that baby? What is that monstrous baby? She has to do something. Ray? Tilly? As she starts coming What's to happening? Other people at the party start coming too as well. What's going on? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh no. Oh, what, oh, what am I doing with you, Dan? Wait, where are we? What's that? What is happening? Is Patricia is, the, is, is, the, is the alien still alive? Uh I well I think the alien baby is. Uh, alien baby is, is still alive. James the baby is. is dead. Is he dead? I thought I thought I didn't do anything to him. I he thought said, he was well, still now, alive. Now Papa is dead, uh, but I think you know maybe he's like hanging on to the edge of life. She assumes he's dead. Well, you know. And Tilly and Ray are still fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so Francesca uh, <laughs> uh, sees her her monstrous baby, <sighs> runs towards it, and 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 attempts to grab it from Ray's hands, wrestling this uh, alien baby away from her. Give it to me! Give my baby to me! It's my baby. No! It came from my body! Give it to me! And she starts to rip, you rip it from her hands. Crazy woman. Uh, and, uh, Tilly, uh, I keep calling myself Tilly. Francesca, pulls out uh, a like a crucifix but it's not a crucifix it's like a it's like a north star <clears throat> because she's a weirdo and <laughs> goes to stab the alien baby in the neck <gasps> she makes contact purple liquid starts to spurt out of the alien's neck till uh, francesca is is Weeping and screaming, and all of the guests in the, in the party are also screaming, horrified at what's, at what's happening. Give me the baby! This oh, ends God. today. We gotta get out of here. She swings the the monstrous baby corpse around and and tosses it into the hot tub water. <laughs> and then she turns and picks up the shotgun that Ch mm. Chuck had dropped on the ground. And she turns it toward. Well, yeah, she, she turns it. Up? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> she turns it toward. Um, toward uh, 
Tilly and, and Ray. She's crazed. Her eyes are just on fire. Let these people go! <laughs> I thought... I thought you would bring grace upon us. I thought you were the answer. But look what you've done to me. And she just has this hole in her dress. Oh. Blood is still all over her legs. It oh. smells like like mucus and old alien. <laughs> old uh, alien. Tilly, Tilly you know what that smells like. Tilly and Ray are like holding their hands up and backing up toward toward their father and, and like tapping him. Papa, 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 wake up, wake up. And he's like, what are we doing? Papa, haggard breathing. No! She returns and shoots him in the head. <laughs> and when she does that, <laughs> just purple blood everywhere. Dark purple blood everywhere. And everywhere. And everybody. If there was like a shred of the hypnotism hanging on in anybody in the party, it's gone now. Screams across the party. And absolute just mayhem. Mayhem just running and 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 trying to find a way out and then in the middle of that someone goes, "Oh my god, what is that?" and points to the middle of the room where the chimera thing is dragging itself across to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Francesca turns and shoots that too. <laughs> it's a, you can hear it kind of say thank you as it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> she turns the gun oh, towards no, no, Tilly. No, give no. me, give me one reason. Give me one reason I should not end this right now. I'll give you whatever you want. Do you, what do you want to be? Do you want to be younger? Do you want? Do you want a baby? I wanted a baby. You had a baby. This is not a baby. It's a baby to me. I have thousands of babies. Just, just, just look. Just look. I'll give you one. I'll give you as many as you want. Come, come with me. Come to the basement. Come on. Come to the basement. I'll show you all the babies and how wonderful of a mother you could be. Please. See. See. Scene. Yes. All right. Well. Yes. <laughs> so, Jess, you get a black die. Okay. Because uh, that's all we have left. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to find some way. Yeah, I was trying no. to find some way to end that poorly, but uh, I think things are not the, really uh... going great for anyone. Okay. <laughs> no. Nope. She, her baby, is a human, horrible hybrid that she shot and killed. This she neighborhood shot and killed her baby's grandpa. I don't know. This neighborhood has really gone to shit. <laughs> uh, it is now Tilly's turn. Tilly, your last turn before the end. Before we get to the epilogue. Tilly has her hands up, and uh, and and she's starting to back away um, toward the basement because Francesca's. They've shared a look of like, oh, fucking, just show me, you know. And and Ray starts to like move away like she's gonna escape but Francesca <laughs> you should Don't come you should come with us right move okay I'll be there get downstairs with her so I, I lead her okay. I mean, we both lead her to to the basement and and the basement uh, we we uh, turn on the light going downstairs and a as I turn on the light and we're going to, I'm going downstairs first, then it's Ray, and then Francesca at the top. As I turn on the light, well, first of all, when, when the light's off, you hear a little. Oh, Alex! Yeah. <laughs> what the Your heck? Your little ASMR alien, <laughs> alien shit. Yeah. Then, then I turn on the light, and you can kind of see at the bottom of the stairs, just like a black shimmeriness, just like something undulating there. Mm. And uh, we go down and we get to the very bottom of the stairs and I pull a little uh, light bulb, Edison light bulb. 
it illuminates a very small part of the basement, but you can tell that it goes on for the entire house, which is quite large. Oh. I have to show you quickly because it looks like looks like someone's here. We're down here! We're down here! Help! As, as this is the Poppleton a, Police Department. Open up. As as a as Francesca is screaming uh, and, uh, and looking up, Tilly grabs her by her lace boho vest ah! and pulls her into what is a sea of tiny insectoid. And these are not the half and half insectoids. These are the full insectoid babies. And they just. <laughs> okay, so they're, they're just feasting all over her. And, uh, and Tilly, Tilly turns to Ray. I told you they were hungry. Then, um, then Tilly goes back upstairs and goes to right. open the door. What? All right, Lieutenant, you're clear to take it down. And then you hear, like, uh, like Happy that. And the door, like, flies off the hinges. And the, the Poppleton Police Department is, like, there in, like, full on SWAT gear and whatnot. And and uh, Tilly, it, her hair is like a little jacked. Her her skin suit is a little cocked. And uh, there's like peep, you know, purple blood everywhere. This giant alien. And she says, "Good evening, officers." Oh my God! Open fire! Scene! Scene! Yes. That was awesome, Alex. Oh, <laughs> Shout out to Changebox. Thank you so much for that donation, oh, Changebox. Oh, Any friend of Jessica's is a friend of mine. Happy gaming. Thank you so much. Well oh, done. The popo. I love the police showing up. That's like that perfect. was a great that is, yeah. sound, Dungeon Runye. Did they say uh, that some gunshots rang out too? That's what Dungeon Runye said. That there was like some gunshots. So we can assume that ah. those gunshots were them knocking down the door and then that, that moment that Chris <laughs> was saying, the open the fire! Yeah. 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 I was going to say, it cuts uh, to black and then you hear the gunshot. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Right as it cuts to black, you see that like the door to the basement is still creaked open and then you start to see like little baby things like coming up from downstairs like into the main, into the main hallway. And they're like, oh my god, open fire! And, and where is Ray at the end of all this? Yeah, that would be the final, the final scene, scene of the movie. All right, yeah. final scene. Take oh. it home, Bonnie. Oh, oh. oh. oh no, <laughs> Bedlam has erupted. Ooh, uh, we're... <laughs> Basement and uh, uh, Ray is standing there on the stairs, and she's listening, and and she hears the gunshots. She knows this is her cue. She must go upstairs. Um, she's walking up, and uh, the little creatures follow her in, and then they go up, up, go up the stairs, and they go um, right where the police is, and they encircle, um, encircle her, and the police shoot, and right into Tilly's eyes, and Tilly is dead on the floor. <laughs> and her, her little the police like peeling off of her face. This, her her. Oh, then, and and she's, she, she's just kind of melting into this monster, and Ray's standing there going. Uh, and she looks, uh, she, she looks at the police chief and says, <gasps> Wait, say it, say it again. You cut out. Say it again. She says, can you, Hello? Yes, can, can you hear me now? Yes. Thank you. Cut out again. You can hear me. Yes. Uh, so Ray is, turns to. to to the police uh, chief and says, "Welcome home, John. Thank you for being. I've been waiting for you." And uh, on uh, the the police chief uh, turns and, and and unmasks himself <gasps> and just kind of removes the, the little face. He's turning into an alien. And so, uh, Ray finally is like, oh, we can be together." And she, turns, and she just kind of takes off her her skin and she turns into this weird monster and goes toward John, the police chief, and they start to embrace while all these little creatures are running around and they're kind of feeding on Tilly's body and their dad's body and all these party goers. And then they're like in the background. Starts embracing John. 
while they're like, while they're doing their little like alien making out kissing, in the background you see like SWAT teams are like, oh, fuck the girl! They're like, they're like, they're like alien. They're there. <laughs> they're trying to escape, but the little babies are taking over, and and uh, you see it's just piles of bodies, and these two, John and and they are just engulfed into each other, and uh, they're quietly while holding each other. Well, all it's just death and destruction. Yes, and scene. And, scene. and I'm gonna, I want to play a, one final sound here. You let a man separate us. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not man. That is the end. alien ghost story. Uh, so we're going to take your die, we're going to roll your die to give you a number, and then you are going to use that number to inspire uh, the thing that happens at the end of this game. So I have three black die and uh, one white die. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these. I'm going to say these three are black and this one's white. So I have a one, two, three, four, five. I have a black two. And a black two on the aftermath table is brutal. Wounds that will never heal, for starters. Stuff sawed off, blown off, <laughs> or burned off on your way to grand igno ig ignominous? Ignominous. Ignominious? I ignominious. Yeah, yeah there, there it is. Kiss whatever you care about goodbye. You may die, but you may not. Um, all right, so I'm going to say that uh, Spike uh, is still alive somehow by, by like, the... By like the the you know, against spear. his yeah against his best wishes, but the spear had to be like they had to cut his arms off to like uh to like get the spear detached from him, uh and it's like it the camera like goes down into the basement like the next day it's like a nice like like little uh love story that's happening up up in the main living room, but then it goes down into Ray's basement and there's this sign that's hanging next to uh Spike's body that's like tied up in the corner and it says like things are changing and you can just see like little baby alien things that are like slowly consuming him as he's <laughs> like, yes yes all right next up is chuck chuck mm -hmm. you have three dice you have two white and one black so you have a white three a white three a white three so let's see a white three is grim. The stress grim. and trauma from your little adventure are going to haunt you forever. Bits of your soul are destroyed and you are missing a piece or two. In a few years, children are going to cry when you get too close. All your plans have ended in complete ruin. <laughs> God. But you so... survived, <laughs> at least. <laughs> you just got so, knocked out. <laughs> yeah, Til Tilly knocked me unconscious with her alien claw thing. And so, uh, as you're seeing this love-making scene between Ray and the police chief, you also see out that the back door is open. And so you see crawling away into the woods is Chuck on all fours. His gashes from his arm have spread. They, it is like necrotic down his arm. <laughs> and also the gashes that you see across his face where Tilly knocked him out the eye has started to turn uh, a dark black color, the same color as when she uh, uses her like eye possession and her eyes went all black. And he is saying, I'll have my revenge. <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> Just go have an ibuprofen. <laughs> ibuprofen. <laughs> Where's Patricia? Patricia! Daddy? Did you call me? <laughs> oh my god. Daddy. <laughs> All right. So he just goes into the into the woods. And into the woods. Nice. All right, you rolling my die. Up, next up, we have Jess. 
Jess, you have three white die and two black die. You have three black die and two white die. Ah! So you have a five, what is this? A, you have a black nine. What? Black nine. I have a black yeah. nine? How did that even happen? A black, you rolled two sixes on your black. Oh my Ooh. god. You wait, wait, so that's good though, because the higher you roll, the better. That is normally good. Black nine. <laughs> Chris, can I ask before we move on, does, does uh, Chuck go out there and die, or does he transform, or does he just like live as a hermit monster and it's going to return in the sequel? He, he lives as a hermit monster and does return in the sequel Amazing. as a horrendous being that he, like, kids, kids of the neighborhood like, oh, don't venture into the woods. You'll see the urban legend. Oh. I love it. I love it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Just clearing that. All right. I have it pulled up. I can read out my, uh, my aftermath. <laughs> great. Great. Nothing to write home about. Back to where you started. Maybe sore and broke just like yesterday and tomorrow. You probably learned something, though, like how to do it right oh. next time next time <laughs> dot 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 okay so we're gonna say that after uh oh a whole day or so the creepy alien insects have eaten away all of the flesh and muscle and sinew on francesca's body and tilly comes back down the stairs to greet this uh this pile of bones Brings her bones up to the hot tub, turns it on. You see it whirring, filling with hot water, hot lavender water. And up rises. <sighs> Francesca. And she does a little. She is now one of did them. Did you say Tilly did that, or did Ray do that? It, was, it would be Ray, because Tilly's dead. Oh, yeah, Ray. Right. I can't get any of the names right. Yeah. <laughs> I, everyone's Tilly in my brain. <laughs> everyone's Tilly. <laughs> Everyone wants to be. That's so, right. right. So, uh, so Ray brought her back to use her as her own minion. Oof. Is that right? She was essentially, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. reborn in this hot tub. <laughs> Trans Alex, reality. Yes. I don't know how you're gonna do this one because you got a white nine. Oh. Uh, and you also got shot in the eyeballs. So, uh, a white nine is nothing to crow about. <laughs> not better, but not way worse either. Maybe the car is wrecked, or your wife is leaving you, or there's a court date. But compared to some of the other people, you know, could be worse. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's what happens. Um, Tilly gets shot in the face with a shotgun and is on the ground. And all this commotion happens. And the night ends. All of uh, the SWAT team is able to be hypnotized by, the, by Ray and her lover. And they just kind of leave them alone after that. Ray and her lover leave to go and wreak their havoc on the town. Once everyone is gone, you see, we, we zoom in to Tilly's shattered face, but you see that it's only the suit that has, it seems to have dents in it, but it hasn't torn all the way through. When she got shot, it shot her in the face and she kind of swung around and fell face down. And everyone assumed she was dead dead. But really, she got concussed and knocked out. However, being the golden child, she realized she had <laughs> failed her mission here on planet Earth in Poppleton Terrace and put herself into the hot tub and transported back to the planet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, which planet was that? <laughs> and um, so she she appears in the hot tub on <laughs> and the other insectoids are surrounding her. 
speaking in their clicky language. <laughs> what happened? Why are you back so soon? Earth is a lost cause. They're not as horny as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and my sister betrayed me. And I, I... I just need a change of pace, so... Someone else go and deal with it. I don't know. She's out of control. She, You know she can't be told anything. So just... If someone else wants to take this, I'm done. I'm gonna open my bake shop on... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm finished. There's a and camera, slowly pans out, it reveals that the entire neighborhood has hot tubs outside of their house. <laughs> yes! Dirt, dirt mounds like you see ants make, but... Uh, but then one but whirlpool hot outside. <laughs> a hot tub outside of each one. It's very similar, it's like a cul-de-sac uh, on the planet. And, uh, and yeah, so, so Tilly just gives up and goes and lives out the rest of her life. And she never speaks to Ray again because she feels so betrayed and um, seeks out other. The, the race seeks out other planets to um, to feed on and to to breed on. Nice. Fantastic. All right. Uh, this is interesting because it feels like Ray is like the best off, but Ray, you rolled a zero. Oh, wow. which is the worst thing in the universe. Yes. Uh, this probably doesn't include death, since death would be way better than whatever this is. <laughs> be creative and don't settle for the first worst thing that comes to your mind. There's something darker, more awful, more wretched in there somewhere. Whoa. So, what happens after Ray has taken over the entirety of Poppleton Terrace? Ray and and her new uh, her, her the love of her life John are walking around and they're going around the neighborhood and, and every household they they just they have tentacles that are now just not human of course and they're just having so much fun and their 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 tentacles reach into the rooms and, and and they break into the windows and they're grabbing people and they're eating people and she's just been the most excited she's ever been and um, and John her her um, love of her life stops her and says, um, Ray, I've got to tell you something. Um, and Ray's like, what, what? This is, I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. And uh, John turns to her and says, um, He says what? He says what? One more time? I didn't catch that yet. To be. She said, she said, in love with. <laughs> in love with. Whoa! <laughs> wait, wait, I missed it. What? With your sister. <gasps> I'm in love with. He says I'm in love with your sister. Oh no! Yo. I've always been in love with her. That's why I wanted to get close to you. And and so. Tough luck, minute, bro. What are you talking about? You don't even know Tilly. Tilly doesn't know you. And, and... yeah, I've, I've been, I've been, uh, you know, I've been coming into her visions and I've been looking in on her, and. Uh, Sorry to do this to you, but I gotta send you to the black hole. Oh. And Ray's like, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> there. My, my ex is there. I can't go there. Like, he says, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the planet. <laughs> yeah, I'm nailed it. And introduce myself to her, yeah. though she doesn't know me. Oh. So uh, Ray is like, I can't believe it. And she's crying, and and, she, and she's just like crawling around, and, and John just takes up this. This rock, um, it's not really a rock, it's a thing that takes you to the to the dark hole. And so she at her and she's just getting sucked into it and, and she's crying because she's in love and the love of her life loves her sister. And I says, just you, I'm coming to you too. And she gets into the universe. And we're just walking in the rock floor. Yeah. And then the camera and then the camera slowly pans out and says and on to a sign that says, Welcome to Poppleton Terrace. And yes. Then, yeah. <laughs> <The credits. laughs> that was me. That was me guys. <laughs> As before before the sign thing happened, 
John is walking away from the black hole and he passes the ashes of the, the house that burned down. And we see scrawled into the bottom of the side of the house, like where the foundation is still there, things are changing. Ooh. Nice. Mm. And he was the one burning down the houses and causing nightmare. Ooh. All right. Scott. Right. Yeah. That was so good, yeah. everybody. Well so fun. What a fiasco. I would watch that movie. <laughs> Stay tuned for the sequel where Chuck the Freak in the Hills terrorizes the children. <laughs> I would do, figures out the hot tub machines. If we do if we do Camp Death, you need to make Chuck like the weird old hermit in the woods. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, exactly. It would be fun to do a fiasco with the same types of characters that just like yeah. like an anthology that just reappear in different play sets. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, yeah. Even when they die, they, they are always coming back. Yeah, so yeah. I love that. Wow. Cool. Job, guys. Thank you to everybody Ooh. who sent us those sound alerts. That was so much yes. fun. I, that that really awesome. added so much to the game. That was one of my favorite parts. Right. Yeah. yeah. I loved that. So the cat one. The cat one. The cat. Oh. Yeah. Oh, great. And the alien yeah. baby initiated a freaking mm -hmm. birth. Yeah. What a great game. <laughs> Incredible. All right, guys. So let's <laughs> let's um, tell everybody where they can find you, your handles, so they can keep up with what you're doing lately. Let's start with Chris. Oh, okay. Hi, uh, I'm Chris, but I'm also, you can find me online as Made in China 211. Uh, I do a YouTube channel where I've been streaming all of Kingdom Hearts, and I don't know, maybe in the future I'll do some more gameplay stuff. <laughs> um, I'm also a voice actor, and you can hear me in the dub for uh, Welcome to Demon School, Irima Kun, and also in the game Wasteland 3, released last year, you can hear me there, and blah, blah, blah. Who knows where the future leads? Wee! Wee! All right, Rob. <laughs> Not into the woods with a. Uh, what's up, guys? I'm Rob. Uh, also, also known as Captain Rob. Uh, you can catch me uh, at Gamer World News, uh, where I host and produce uh, a couple of different segments on there. Um, I, you'll also catch me in the chat because uh, I hang out on Hello Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> We love uh, seeing you there. I just want to say thank you so much for uh, having us. Thank, yeah. yeah, thank you for for uh, GMing, uh, hosting, and you starting so the game off with your amazing scene settings. Yeah, thank awesome. you, thank you, thank you. All right, funny. Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm Bonnie. Um, yeah, thank you for letting me be here. This was. Uh, um, I had some connection issues, so that was very exciting to try to figure out what was happening and also justify everything. You handled it. Um, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, my, uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> my name, uh, Vane, V-A-N-E-H underscore 33. Um, you can also listen to my audiobooks on Audible. I just search my name and they'll pop up. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, living life, staying safe, that's all. And we, of Yay. course, are your hosts, yeah. Jess and Alex, yeah, here on right. Hello Goodberry. Um, yeah. And if you like Fiasco, yeah. we will be doing another Fiasco game next Wednesday with the Dungeon Run cast again. So excited for that. Yeah. Next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Um, in the meantime, you can catch us on Monday for our amazing <laughs> mixology show with Avril, Fun Says Avril. Uh, always so much fun. We always get a little drunk. And uh, Tuesday, uh, we have our... Is that our trivia night? Or is that our ability check? Uh, hmm, That's our on. charisma ability check. That's our charisma Where's ability my, check, yeah. Stream for the, our first acting stream. Oh, We're Rob, can you share your screen again? Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna write each other. <laughs> wait, I'll wait till I'm back. Right now I'm at the bottom of the screen. Hi. Oh, uh. <laughs> There we go. Uh. <laughs> I, immediately when it when it made the noise, I was like, "Oops, that's." <laughs> and we're gone. Uh, yeah, so we're going to we're gonna Jess and I are gonna write each other some silly monologues to do. We're gonna 
uh, act out some scenes together. And I think we're gonna bring a couple guests on for some impressions because I had a couple Ooh. friends say, wouldn't that be fun? And I said, yes, so yes. Uh, we'll see. Um, and then Thursday, we're gonna have our Druid Craft featuring uh, a Dungeon Run artist, Cam the Fog Pal, which we're very excited about. Uh, they're gonna show us their process. Maybe we could do a little bit of art along with them. Um, and then March will come with Lots of programming and surprises, so stay tuned. Yeah. Follow us on our socials oh. at Hello Goodberry for uh, updates on the schedule, and please hit the follow button so you can get alerts of when we're live, because we do also game in the off time. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that socials command. And sometimes we just, yeah, we, we log on and bake cake pops. So sometimes we just, we miss you when we, when we log on to say hi. We're always so. here. We're literally, literally always here. <laughs> Pretty much every day we're here, so. Well, we love you Hang guys, out. and thank we love all of our guests. Thank you guys so much for being yeah. here. And, thank you uh, so this, much for having me. This has been Yay. a beautiful fiasco. <laughs> Hello, Goodberry time. So we will see you on Monday. And we are going to uh, we're going to go raid uh, live action role play li life action role play. Uh, Ryan Omega is one of my good friends. We did an RPG, a sci fi RPG together for a while on Maze Arcana called Anasadora. So let's keep the RPG hype train going. Give them a shout out. We love you.